Shit, that's y'all yeah. to put them in there. <laughs> there, all of them. Besides, I got to put one thing in this group. Besides this one or two. But anyway, it is welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode of Ladies Street 411 Podcast. My brothers are with me. I got CeeLo to my left, JP to my right, and I am Tone. And we want to wish y'all a happy new year. First episode of the year. And we can't wait to set it off. Bigger and better. And get to it. Yeah, man. Get bigger and bigger. Better and better. We, we working, man. We working for sure. That is a definite. But I don't know, man. What's, what are we getting into today, man? How was the New Year's first off? Everybody good? Happy New Year? Yeah. 2020 over. Sure. 2020 is definitely over. Why don't I feel the relief, though? Yeah, I'm still waiting to, ex- <laughs> waiting to exit. Part yeah. two. <laughs> <laughs> They be making everything else. I guess we gonna remake that. Bring that on out. You're right. Yeah, I just don't feel the relief, man. Not, not yet. It ain't. Yeah. It, it haven't set in yet. 2021. Don't feel different yet. What about you, bro? I mean, uh, this is it's a, a bit of a relief for me, just because the year over with. Um, rather you feel it right now, or you feel it later. Just, re- I'm just happy that the year over with. Yeah. Actually made it to another year. Yeah, that part I'm definitely happy about. Yeah. Just making it to another year. I'm not so quick yet to jump on. <laughs> oh, it's 2021 yet. <laughs> I know it's, it sounds good. It's good to say, but yeah. it's just a continuation right now. I'm just high hopes waiting for on the it future. to. Yeah, I've been having high hopes for the whole 2020. Just <laughs> I'm hoping this Shit, hurry up and know. just dissipate, man. Disappear. Yeah. Just get. Get out of here, but I mean it is what it is. We one thing we know how to do, man, is hustle. We gonna get our, we gonna hustle our way through whatever. So that's as a people, not yeah. just us. I mean, as a people, we gonna we gonna make it. We gonna make it. In the words of Jada. So let's get to it, man. What y'all want to start with first, man? Y'all want to get to some uh, entertainment, some sports. We got a lot of sports stuff going on. So I don't know if y'all want to start it out with with something else, or you know, start out with a little bit of entertainment, music. Culture stuff we got going on, or sure, jump right into the sports. It is what it is. Let's, let's get it started. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, culture. Let's uh do an update on a smart dummy from last week. <laughs> oh yeah, good call, man. Yeah, we did have a smart dummy last week, and um, from the internet, as I was, you know, <laughs> I wasn't even researching. I was actually just looking at the actual topic because we were doing some. Some videos on the smart dummy which is a segment we do every week and happened to see that there was a name put to the face and the um internet uh what is shit i don't know i don't want to say troll because it wasn't a troll but um the viral the viral video of the young lady picking up the dog poo <laughs> <laughs> with her mask and putting the mask back on her face and it was uh mia khalifa according to the internet um, was the young lady who was caught uh, well known ex porn star? Yes, unfortunately, I, I didn't know her too well. I, I'd seen her face, but I didn't know her by name. So when I seen it, I brought it back to y'all and was like, "Oh, this is an adult film ex adult film star. I don't know what she's doing now. Supposedly, oh, she's okay. a media personality now. Well, yeah, I guess that would fall in the category. She does case. a lot. She, I mean, she uh." OnlyFans, she um she does a lot of the sports, uh, online sports betting every week for like the college and football and basketball teams. She got her foot in a lot of things. <laughs> after after the porn scene, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, feet in her hands and a lot of stuff. <laughs> mask. <her. laughs> but, <laughs> but I know JP wanted to uh briefly say a little something on on that matter about her. <laughs> it was a little tad bit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Once the name got put to it, yeah, I, mean, I sensed a little bit of disappointment no, when I it, talked it, to you. It, it makes sense. <laughs> she eats, she eats, <laughs> eats ass in her porn, so <laughs> that's not too far from it. I mean, I don't know how you what you do when you do that, but pretty sure you come across it a couple times. Uh, and yeah, the nose will turn brown one way or another. Huh? <laughs> but, I mean, that, that just shows that. Nose that just shows that. Hey, I'm, some people was nasty and you may never know it. You know, I don't want to judge nobody from, we knew she was from nasty. no. <laughs> sir, I don't want to judge nobody from what they do for a living. 
you know, but just outside of that, just saying that, and it's like, I mean, I said, if you say me and Khalifa to to a regular guy, I guarantee at least eight eight out of ten of them uh, know who she is. Yeah. You know, I so, agree with you though, yeah. It's just crazy. Like I said, when, when you told me, when you put the name to the face, it was just like, ugh. But then again, <laughs> it makes sense. No, okay. I, I don't put a pass. Yeah, man. Nasty ass. <laughs> you got anything on it? <laughs> uh, for one, I, once you had told me the name, I was like, eh, let me see the internet really true on this one. Let's, mm-hmm. let's see what, what they say actually right. saying. So. I went and looked at it, and I seen an article where she was actually on was it TikTok before that, but before she actually picked it up. So they was it was she was the story was actually saying that she she was trolling us. It was actually a setup. Which one of y'all did I mention that to? You mentioned that to me. I remember, I said that I said it's just so odd that somebody just so happens to be there. Mm-hmm. Recording like what she did nothing to make you say, "Ooh, I need to record this." Well, yeah. then, but then again, you do got people that do that for a living. The people that like with stars and did yeah. pop rocks, like they yeah. follow them yeah. every every time they leave their house, they follow yeah. them. And I, I did think about that too, but I was like, "Man, she really wasn't doing nothing." And I said it to you, I was like, "Man, it's just, it could be just you know a troll for the internet, though. Mm-hmm. a way to go viral, a way to get hits, get your name out there." I, I said that we and me and uh, CeeLo was talking about it, but. I don't know if it was or not, but I did find it odd. Just somebody yeah. just out there, you walking your dog, and somebody just recording you. Yeah, like right before and, that, she she, yeah. she she down there with the dog. The dog got a mask on, and then all of a sudden you yeah. picking up dog shit and putting it up back on you. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a little weird. Yep, but I'm still it was a, a troll or not. It's still as Jay say, nasty. Yeah, still smart dummy. We well, ain't still, taking that yeah. away. Nah, not you at all. You got that award. That's yours. <laughs> you won that baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, that fair and square. but even if it is a troll, like look, look at the extremes that people will go to just for, for their name to be yeah. around. Mm-hmm. You know? What they call like, that cloud chasing? chasing. Cloud. Sick, bro. Yeah, yeah. weird. It's it's that drug, man. Jay Z told us about it a long time ago. Fame, that that fame is a drug, man. It's it's crazy. Like what people do for these likes and clicks, man. And I don't know. I just have not. <laughs> I can't. I just can't do it. I just, I don't know, man. It's something to me. I mean, whatever. Good to each his own. But my integrity won't allow me to do it. But anyway, we get off her. I just, <laughs> <laughs> just that was just crazy. But yeah, just like I said, we, we ain't taking back that award. Not, I tell you that. Not at all. You yeah. get that. You get that and you hold on to it. Yeah. yeah speaking of, um, well, well, before I go into that, I just want to get this out of the way because I don't want us to get into any laughs and giggles and then we got to turn the knob down. Okay. Rest in peace to my man Shabadoo, man. Oh yeah. You know, uh, in case you don't know, Shabadoo, who was the star of Breaking Breaking Two, uh, was also better known as Ozone. Yeah. In in the movies, you know, I thought I was Ozone so many times. My brother thought he was Turbo. And we used <laughs> to do the dance, and <laughs> we used to come out. And that famous, I always remember the broom. Yeah. The broom scene. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't know hey, nobody crazy, who watched that movie that didn't try that. Was that 2020 when folks actually was doing that? I think it was like 19 or 20. It was a little viral thing yeah. when people was out there. It was like, the, yeah, like a couple of days. You could set the broom on there yeah. and then sit there. It was something with the, the way the earth sat on the axis or something. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was something, man. He was just definitely an um, icon, man. A cultural icon, man. I mean, that's like the start. That's when you start talking about where things started, you know, as far as yeah. the culture and the way they dressed. And the funny thing about it is, think about 2020 now with, let's say, uh, DK Metcalf, the uh, star wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks. Mm-hmm. You see the way he wears earrings? He yeah. got the long earrings? Yep. My yep. man Shabadoo was doing that back then. Like, it's just crazy how stuff comes back around. Yeah. And, you know, that's the way they was rocking their stuff then. They had the earrings. So, it's, you know, I, lo- I love the culture, man. But it's everything is 360 to me. Like, you know, you see stuff go away and then it comes back. And just rest in peace to him, man. And, you know, condolences to the family, man. And um, it's just weird. The only thing that I found, I think I told you about that the day before, they haven't officially said how he died. Mm-hmm. But the day before, he had posted on uh, IG and a picture of him with sunglasses on, a teddy bear that somebody had gave him saying, you know, he was doing well. And 
Um, he said COVID warrior, you know, COVID scare, you know, just a little scare, and he was fine. And then the next day, the man is dead. So I'm almost willing to bet my last dollar that it's going to come back something COVID related. Yeah, I'm just you know just guessing, but that was you know that was a little sad, man. I just yeah, well, hated to see that. It was actually unexpected. I didn't even know it happened until you mentioned it. So yeah, rest in peace to my man Shabadu, man. And you right over there. <laughs> condolences, man, to to him and our prayers with the family and you know the loved ones of that man. I don't know if y'all got nothing on that, but I just wanted to get that out the way. Sad news of the day. Bad news of the day. Y'all, y'all good on that? Yeah, I'm good. It's heartbreaking, man. Just like you said, all the memories, dog. Because he started the culture, man. And I, I remember seeing him in breaking and then going back and watching what's happening. He out the pop lock over the rerun way before mm. breaking. Way so, man, before. Yeah, he been in the game, man. Started, he started that. I'm going to say he started. I don't, don't know if it's true or not, but I'm going to stand on it right now. And say he started the old pop locking phase and kicked off the break and he, <laughs> hey and if he didn't start it he was just better at it yeah. <laughs> than most people yeah. so yeah I'm gonna I'm give him the credit on that yeah. yeah oh yeah absolutely man yeah rest in peace to him man but switching gears man I ran into um, I ran into a little article I was I don't even know what I was doing but I, I ran into an article or video or something man where they were talking about Jay Prince and Joe Budden and I was like, what's this all about? And I don't know if y'all even paid attention to this Clubhouse app that people are using now. You, you tried it? Yeah. And I guess it's like a... To me, it sounds like... I haven't been on there, but it sounds like the new Black Planet chat, party chat, okay. chat room is what it is now. But I guess the, the, the gold star for this new app is that I guess it's, it was supposed to be invite only. Okay. So I guess if another celebrity invites you, then you can get in. I don't call so, it. So on. yeah, it's sort of like a forum, but I, I think yes. it's sort of like a forum. You had to have yep. the invite, but then you, you also have, have the audience. To get, but they yes. can't participate. They just an audience base. Yeah, that's okay. what it sounds like to me. So I haven't got in there, but you know, basically what I've seen is them going back and forth, and I thought it was just a conversation on the business <laughs> or something. And so I'm. I click on it, I'm li- listening to it, and I listen to the video, and from the jump, for some odd reason, um, there was quite a few people in there, and, and I could hear in, in Jay Prince's voice, he had smoke for Joe Budden, and I, I'm just like, man, I'm like, what, where this come from? Like, it was just weird, like, you know, you know, you know how Joe Budden is, Joe Budden is Joe Budden, he was like, he wasn't podcast Joe, he was just in there just like, he really wasn't saying much. You know, and when he do, you know, monotone, Joe, oh, you know, I don't think this is that. And he was just like, you know, I, I know you, Joe. I know you do, you know, how you are. And I know how you are with people, you know, and other people. Like, you like to, you know, get on people and, you know, you like to belittle people and disrespect them, you know. And so Joe's like, no, nah, I don't think I do that at all, you know. And it was just like, it just kept coming for him. And then he said, why don't you do that with me? Why don't you do that to me? You know, the stuff that you do on your podcast and that you talk down to people. And so now you got other people chiming in and then they're like, oh, yeah, well, you know, and he's like, well, what, what are you talking about? What, what, you know, give me an example. And, you know, and, and I guess some girl or whoever popped in, you know, well, that was the little Yachty situation and you did that, you know, to him. Now, we're going back to everyday struggle when that happened, when Joe Budden and uh, Academics was doing that. And so I'm like, man, why, why this man like, he got smoke for him like I can't you know what I'm saying you could just hear it and I'm just like wow and so Joe what really wasn't taking the bait he was just like nah I don't think that's what I do at all he was like I think you know my podcast and you know wherever else I I educate people and I you know put them up on some things you know and and, and he just tried to elaborate that way and you know after a while Jay Prince was you know he kind of he kind of backed down a little bit. I don't say back down, but he kind of calmed down a little bit. And he wasn't really coming for him. But you can just tell the whole time he was coming for him. And so I don't know if y'all even heard the, you know, the quick audio on it. And I was just, I had seen some things, you know, about, oh, who was right and who was wrong. And that's what I was going to ask y'all. Like, who did y'all think was wrong? Because it was clear. It was, it was clear as day to me. You know what I mean? Like, Jay Prince was just dead wrong. You know what I mean? Because y'all two, both of y'all for one. In my opinion are too powerful to even be having this conversation if there's any beef 
Like, on a on a chat room. Yeah. Phone. You know what I mean? So I'm sure you got his number. But but yeah, I know he Those has type of conversations number. happen in, in the, on that app though. I mean they can happen if they're genuine, but that, that wasn't a genuine conversation. He no, came No, I'm talking him. about like cats like these celebrities been using that platform almost like it's just something normal and yeah, it's been a lot of different stuff coming out and people going at it with each other. Why they got a whole whole crowd of people sitting there listening to them and watching like yeah, that, that, this Probably is not the first like little scruffle, you know what I'm saying? In that app, I, 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 I've heard of. So I, I'm, mm. I'm not shocked that they. Now I see what you're saying, but I'm not shocked that they on there. He talking to him the the, 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 uh, the way he is. Yeah, but I mean, it was just no, it was no reason for it. And that's that's my whole thing. Like if we if we like we do it on the podcast all the time. We talk and we stumble into a conversation that. Have us going back and forth. That's that's normal, you know. It's conversation, but he came for him. Yeah. It's, it's, it sound like it was. It's, yeah, and he, I don't know the whole complete story, but it sounded yeah. like it actually was a reason. But I, you know, I immediately when I heard it, I'm I'm just gonna tell y'all where my mind went. I said, "This is some smoke from some carryover smoke from the Drake situation." When Joe and Drake and Drake, you know, went back and forth. Well, I don't even want to say went back and forth. Drake said what he said. Joe dropped. Three or four diss tracks on them, and Drake didn't say nothing. But since then, they they pieced it up. They laugh and joke and, and and talk. So I mean, like that was obviously that's what it seemed like it came from to me. I don't know, but I I clearly know that a prince had smoke with your button and that. I, I hope they get it squashed because I just I like here, here's something I'm gonna ask y'all if me and JP have an issue. Mm-hmm. And you and JP is like this. Mm-hmm. It's only right for most cats that's loyal. Now you got an issue with me too. Okay, so now if me and JP piece it up, where does that leave me and you? Do, do you throw it out the window as well? I mean, not saying that's, that you that's got a damn good question. That's, that's yeah, a damn because good question. even yeah. though me and you piece it up, Chuck could be looking at it like, well, I just, even though y'all was able to work it out, I still don't like the way mm-hmm. such and so happened. So why, right. why, why do I gotta be cool with this dude just because you is now? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I, like, I'm I'm not asking for him to be cool. I'm just I'm wondering like, do you just squash it as well and you piece it up? But I mean, not saying that you have to call me or we got to be cool. Yeah. But you just kind of dead the the smoke that you originally had. Yeah, it, it depends. It, it's, if you seen something that like, if y'all just like you say. If I seen something the way you was doing doing a J that I don't like and I can never forgive and I'm never not not I still want to come at your head a little bit for it, mm-hmm. even though y'all pieced it up. That's still what it is. I'm still gonna feel that way. If I'm ready to come at your head, it's just because y'all pieced it up. It's, that's really not gonna. Yeah, but I'm saying it's me nothing that me and you ever had. Like me and you never had no personal beef. It's simply based off the fact that me and him had our run in. But, so you just loyal, you know, as a, as a friend, you loyal to him. So, and I, I've been in this situation where I I've done it because I, ooh, me and you could go personal on this one, but you know what I'm saying? Like just being loyal, you say I'm not fucking with that dude. Yeah. Based off of what y'all had and what he did to you, because I I've been in the situation and I I felt like that. And when I seen them piece it up, I still don't mess with dude like that. But I I also don't have that. My smoke it, level ain't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my smoke level ain't at a hundred no more. Yeah, but it's still there though. Yeah, it's still there, but it's it's down to like yeah. thirty, you know. Because how would I look coming after you, and then JP sitting there like, hey, what, what, why? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what do you think if roles reverse? I mean, I, I don't think it's a right or wrong answer to that because, like you said, because I don't, I think any I said r- 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 rather. Chuck want to, you know what I'm saying, just just drop everything just because you did, or he can still have some, have some beef towards you just because of what you've done, even though, you know what I'm saying, I, whatever, I didn't piece it up with you, and you know what I'm saying, like I said, that even though it wasn't malicious towards him, but he still cannot like the way you did whatever, and still, mm-hmm. and still okay, well, I'm not going to fuck with him, I don't care if my, if my guy still mess with him, but I don't have to mess with him, right? you know what I'm saying, and like I said, and I mean, and it's just that. But going back to with the Joe Budden and everything, yeah, I believe, you know, you know, they, they these uh, celebrities, or artists, whatever you want to call them, use different platforms in the wrong ways. But um, as far as just, 
I don't know. Like I said it could be from whatever with uh, Drake and Joe um, when they was beefing. But I mean, this is not the first time I've heard people sending smoke Joe away as far as how he do things. As far as especially with the podcast, the way he talked to his, you know what I'm saying, his his, his his other people on there. Just you know what I'm saying, just in the tone and. You know, I always notice Maul, Rory, or Parks, they always come out and like, you know what I'm saying, that's Joe, or you know what I'm saying, ain't nothing, nothing, nothing like that, but the way how it looks from people on the outside looking in, I, I, I've even said it a couple of times, like, like I don't like the way, you know what I'm saying, how you be talking, you know what I'm saying, so I said, the, the, the one with, this with him and Jay Prince could be something even before that, but mm -hmm. if it's just based on that podcast, I, I can see that, because I've, I've, I've listened to it and I saw it a couple mm -hmm. times, I'm like, like, man, like, you really got to... Talk to him like that. I mean, yeah, y'all could be y'all could be joking, but when I'm continually hearing it or every other episode or something, so yeah. and see, this is where I think, and I don't want to be. I'm not not the defender of Joe Budden, but I'm. There's something I'm going to. That's actually where I disagree with when Jay Prince was saying how you talk to people on your podcast. Now we all fans of the podcast, and we've listened to the podcast for, for a long time. I was like. I've listened to the podcast since it originally started, you know, and that's one thing that I didn't agree about. So I was like, I'm just doing the math in my head as he's saying it. And that's one thing. Now, if he's talking about the way that Joe Budden talks to his friends, that's okay. That that's, I don't even think that's your call. Yeah. Me personally, because me, and you, I can, I talk to y'all a certain type of way. Sometimes we talk to each other certain type of ways that we wouldn't allow nobody else to do yeah. it because of our relationship. So when he said the podcast, I'm like, first and foremost, they don't, Joe, they, they never really had guests on the podcast like that. No. That, that was one of his biggest things. You know, they didn't have guests. I don't like talking to rappers. Y'all heard him say it plenty of times. I don't like talking to these dudes. So I'm like, okay, who, he's got to be going back to everyday struggle. Like when he was, it, it's got to be the Lil Yachty and the Drake thing. Like, the, the Migos thing You know And I know Joe raises his voice And get loud on his podcast And whatever And get aggressive But it's, it's to the mic yeah. You know what I mean So I, I've never And maybe y'all can correct me I no. could be wrong I've just never heard him Talk foul Like when they do interviews With, with cats on the podcast It's like they be kicking it You know what I mean And I've, I've heard them say Some things that That might be a little bit Controversial But never to the point Where I thought it was Disrespectful no, and that's so, why I absolutely yeah, so disagree. I, with. I wasn't saying with any guests. I was saying with just with him and him and the people that's that's on, that's the, on podcast. the podcast. It, it wasn't until the stream that I'm like, oh well, you know what I'm saying. I, I need to cancel Joe. I stop stop listening to him. But like I said, yeah, you know what I'm saying. When you are guys, like I said, you talk to each other a certain way. But I, I'm saying this is not the first time I've heard this. I've seen mm -hmm. people comment on it. No, just 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 over the what the two years I've been listening to them. You know what I'm saying? Just I mean, it's not. It's just like you can just and I and I've even you know what I'm saying heard it. it, it like I say it, it, it couldn't. It could be nothing, but it's just almost like sometimes it just sounds like he talks down on them a little bit. Oh, now talking down, I I agree. Sometimes he do do that, but that's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm saying. So if, I'm not talking about if no you, guests or none. If you Jay so, Prince, they just start doing that, and that's your angle. Then then I think you all you have no credibility. I don't even think it's, it might not even have nothing to do with the podcast, man. I, I don't think it do, but he said that. He said on your podcast, but I think that was just in conversation. You know mm -hmm. how a conversation happens and you saying, but I think what he he really wanted to touch on some individual situations, yeah. but I think by just saying podcast, he didn't want to call nobody out or say no name. Yeah. So that's why I was saying, I, if he's talking about his his friends and how he talks to his friends, I, mm -hmm. I really think you don't have credibility. We might not know. Some... Jay Prince might, might, might not have said something that we don't know. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I mean, hey, it might it might be some thing. I don't put nothing past nothing. I'm not blaming nobody on nothing, but I just don't put nothing past no, nobody. Mm -hmm. I just think you know we we in such an age now where it's sensitive. Everybody's sensitive, so you can't like we can't even give our opinion. It's hard to give your opinion now without somebody getting mad. You know, without just at some point saying, hmm, "That's your opinion." You got your right to it. Like we don't, we, we we way past that now. Like you, you gotta walk on eggshells now for everything. Like you, you can't give your opinion. Like, like we gonna do today later on when we talk about uh, music and 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 uh, TV Tuesday. We're giving our opinion and what we think. So 
I'm just scared when you know when it gets to the point that like we give our opinion on something and now automatic smoke. It's, it's, because it's, we didn't care for it. It's gonna happen though. I mean, I don't care. It's gonna happen. I, I, honestly, I don't care. That's one thing that comes with doing comes something with like the ter- this. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just saying that it's just so it's that's just weak to me. Yeah, it is that we get that that people are getting mad because there's gonna be pen- plenty of people that correct us and I, you know, I hey, you know, or they, I don't hate that show. I hate that podcast. I can't get mad at them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like to the point where you, it's, you get mad for a second, can't you? Just yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right, right. Hey, kick yeah. rocks. Yeah. Hey. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. And yeah, then I'm you done with it. Yeah. yeah, but to carry that smoke, and when I see you, when we at the podcast awards, you know, like stuff like that. Like I, I just don't. I don't know. It just should never get to that point. But I think that's some behind the scenes stuff. Uh, yeah, honestly, I just, so. hey, just don't say J Prince's name too loud because. No, you might have some goons around here. Hey, I'm thinking the same thing. But. Hey, we, we still got to live our lives after this podcast. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, like, that's, I think that's behind the scenes. But, you know, this is my yeah. opinion on it. This is so funny. Can I just bring up something before we leave this? Bro really thought he was going to educate me about Jay Prince in the group. Oh. <laughs> when I was trying to, I was trying to make a joke on him. I was like, "That shit, bro!" I was cracking up. And he was like, "Jay Prince." He started comparing him to this and this. And this. He, he's hey. this. And he was, I'm like, "Oh, try, so he don't try, get this joke." Trying to help my brother out. Yeah, I'm I like, oh, he ain't getting a joke. I'm trying. To, oh, okay, I appreciate it though. I appreciate it. Yeah, he's about to he's about to lay you down with the education. <laughs> Trust me, I know about Jay Prince because he thought, took my gang, name. Gang names on out there too, man. It was about twenty names I put out there for you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can some icons. Oh, oh shit! Man. I know, I know, I know. Oh, him too. <laughs> oh, that was funny, man. Yeah, going back to that. But before we move on to anything else, man, let me just say thank everybody who rocks with the podcast, supports the podcast, and rocks with us individually. Um, social media, um, Facebook, YouTube, streaming wherever you're streaming at, uh, Spotify, Anchor. Whatever Anchor is huge. I always like to say Anchor first because they are a big distributor of this podcast, and I lo- I just like what they about, man. They they for helping the creators, and you you know allow you to do what you want, and it gives the options that I don't think y'all even know, like as far as the music and how yeah. YouTube is very oh yeah touchy, and you can't play nothing now, and everything is copyrights. Even if I'm just giving a snippet, but not to go into all that. But thanks to Anchor, man. Anchor FM podcast. You can listen to us there. Um, Google Podcasts, anywhere you stream podcasts. Another and thing is too, people that actually is like just because podcasts to me has been over the last couple of years has gotten bigger and bigger. So even people that's like new to listening to podcasts and don't and 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 and, and, re, and really have a hard time getting into it, just watching like it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know I've it's been better for me, and I know a lot of people by going on that anchor or that Spotify yeah, yeah. and just listening to it. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. know, you got a lot of people that drive and like just like 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 just like listen to it. So yeah. I mean, try it that yeah, way. I, I agree with you, man. Yeah. That's how I listen to uh, most of my podcasts. Yeah. Well, I'm actually driving and working and stuff like that. Yeah, instead yeah. But of, I mean, if you want to see my beautiful face, yeah. you can tune in YouTube too. <laughs> No. Absolutely. Take a look to the camera when you tell them that. Yeah, I was look, I was look, I thought I was looking at <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Hey, yeah. Shout out shout out to all y'all. Happy, Happy New Year to y'all too, you, you ugly jokers. <laughs> Happy New Year, you man. Filthy animals. And subscribe, man. Let's shout out to the new subscribers that we uh, Yeah, we to. getting there. Ladies be free. Now <clears throat> on to the next. Um I mean just get this off my chest because I'm a little I got some smoke speaking of smoke for some people what you got these people's fucking idiots to me uh, Juju Smith-Schuster and I'm gonna take y'all back a little bit he's a wide receiver of the Pittsburgh Steelers my boy young kid very likable great personality I love him man um, just I just love everything about him man the way he handled himself um, the way he handled the whole situation with um, Antonio Brown yeah. on his departure and throwing everybody under the bus and trying to diss the man. So Juju Smith-Schuster has just only been, you know, doing what he do. And they started, still started off, what, like 11-0? and 0, yeah, something, something this like year. That. So he started a little trend where, of course, it's TikTok. And uh-huh. I'm going to do my TikTok dance. And... Just so happened he was doing them during the warm-ups, which happened to be 
the 50 yard line of the field, which everybody knows that's where the opposing team's logo is. Yeah, and, and, and the home team, like he did yeah. on their logo as well. So it wasn't like he was targeting people's logo. I'm going to dance on it. But, but he, he, that's he, he, what he people, did say that on his videos. You know, but it, it, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing ignorant, I don't think. But yeah, he was like, you know what I'm saying? And, and we danced on a away logo too. So he sat down on this video. Yeah, so. That is the center. That's the center of the stadium. Yeah. That's not the fifty yard line. That's the actual yeah. center of everything. Yeah, so. yep. but that's besides the fact, right? <laughs> so, and I mean, I guess it, it can be deemed as disrespectful by opposing yeah. team. I get it. Yeah, I get it. So nobody had anything to say because he was dancing and they was winning. winning yep. So it was all fine and well. If you want me to stop dancing, beat me. You know, it's just like let's say we playing we playing Madden, and I keep doing this running play. And you keep saying, why the hell you keep doing that running play? Same stupid play. Well, I'm like, stop it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep doing it until you stop it. People and get so, on my nerves. Like, that's, it's, a, it's, I hate that's, it. all, that's your, it's only argument? <laughs> and then you can't stop this? So you have to play about it? So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, he danced and he danced. And then the Pittsburgh Steelers started to lose three in a row. You know? And so now he started to get targeted. And I don't know if y'all seen... Um, I'm blanking on his name, but the the cornerback, uh, the DB from the Bengals, has said, "I know how to stop him. <laughs> Put a hit on him, <laughs> and, and he lit you ass up." <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was clean, though. It was a clean yeah, hit. He popped yeah, his they, ass they up. wanted to. Hey, he popped. His they they <laughs> wanted to throw that flag so bad. They wanted to throw that flag. Juju Smith scored a touchdown after that thing, too. Mm -hmm. But you know, he I was just he was making a statement and. That's all fair. Yeah. That's all fair in war. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, hey, you trying to dance? I'm gonna make a statement to you. You know, and, and you ask for that when you yeah, start dancing doing. and you do, you know, because nobody nobody likes you winning like that. You know yeah. what I mean? They are gonna find something to, to get at you for. So don't no other team care that you undefeated. Yeah, you know what I'm you know, saying. So and then you dancing on top of it. They yeah. like, oh man. And I honestly, I think if they was losing and he was dancing, I don't think nobody would have cared. Nobody cared at all. You know, but the fact that they win it amplifies everything. And so now, of course, just like any other sport, you become the target. You win a championship, you become the target. You undefeated, you're yeah. the target. And so what I had a problem with is after they went on their little three, I think it was three-game losing streak, his mother came out and said that she was receiving death threats and phone calls from from fans i have such a problem with this because uh, people do not but guess what that's sick though y yeah you you know what fan is short fan, for fans are fan yeah. is short for fanatic yeah and people have to be careful man like some of these people y'all take it way too far mm -hmm. you know be a fan of your team but that man's mother yeah has nothing to do with them losing. And granted, they didn't even lose the championship. They just lost three regular season games. Who cares when you undefeated? They still came back and took the the, 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 the title. Still of the got the, yeah. Still got the AFC uh, oh, division. Man. Like it just it just burns me up inside to know that somebody is sitting over there. I'm going to find out his mother's number and I'm going to find out her profile on social media. I'm going to kill her. Like that, and I know people's crazy, man. I don't try to reason with crazy people, but that man's mother, because he was dancing and y'all lost, it's all his fault now. And his, his parents stay all the way in California. Damn. It, so it's his fault now? It's, it's her fault. I'm sick. I'm you know sick, what I mean? Bro. Just, bro, you don't you don't do that. Like, yeah. it's, I think I when I was talking to Tone, I was like, send that smoke my way. Don't don't involve my my personal life and bring because yeah. that, that, that that's when shit gets serious. And it, it just am I am, am I my shocked though? No. Because I've seen when you when you I've seen some like some I call it so real fans of these sports teams or whatever. They do some crazy shit for their teams. They go to jail. They abroad. They just do some yeah. some weird shit. Like that. That's how deep they is. But bro, like going personal like that, and like I said I I I well I don't know too much about it, but I just know because I follow Juju on YouTube, and I, I watched everything when he bought his parents the uh, big house in California, and just seeing their reaction to it. His mom and his dad is so humble. 
So them, that's that's why that's why it's really frustrating because they don't be out. You know what I'm saying? Just they 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 don't they 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 sit back like they don't be in the limelight. Oh, this is my son. He's a professional. No, they're not like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They say he got a mom and dad. He got damn there six seven brothers and sisters and all that. Like bro, you don't do that. This dude Juju ain't never did nothing wrong, but it just seemed like. <laughs> Shit just always keep trying to come his way. I said going back to yeah, what Antonio Brown thing. And that's I mean, what I love about him. I not and I and I commend Juju because a lot of that shit can get to people's heads. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even like even going back to the Antonio Brown thing. You know, and then going going to this year how he's he's pretty much done filled in, in, in Antonio Brown's shoes. Yeah. But he's been embracing it because it's been opening up for all these other young cats. So he he's been doing everything he's supposed to been doing. So to to, to get something like that. Oh, you want to send death threats at my at my mom? Yeah, like that's that's like top level because like we we deal with mamas at at, at a level down here. Yeah. Like, I don't care how much we get into it. You better not disrespect me. Mama. Yeah, mama's still mine. That, yeah, that's, what I, that's how a lot of fights start. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> hey, that, that's what I was just about to say, man. I'm glad that he hasn't did anything yet. Cause Juju's just, not yeah. that cat, bro. He's bro, not. He, he just, you not I mean, that cat, I, but I, of course, I mean, of course, the mama, you turn into that cat. Well, yeah, well, yeah but, but I know I'm talking saying. about Juju's not that dude that's gonna react and do something that's gonna get himself in trouble. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. At the end of the day, these are fans. These, 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 like fans. Like you gotta think, think about it. These are people that sitting in the in, in the stands w- 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 watching me play. So I said, as long as my my people is good back home. Yeah, most definitely it's gonna be brought up because yeah, you talking a lot or y'all doing a lot of shit or however y'all sending death threats on my peoples, but that's it. That's why I said I commend them because you can easily lose your cool yes. and, and do some shit off yep. the wall. Mm-hmm. So now, not only if you got that issue, now you got an issue with yourself and with the league and yeah. So yeah, yeah. That, that's all I was saying with that. Yeah. Not saying that Juju just he ain't, he don't do he ain't gonna yep. do shit because he ain't that no I ain't saying that yeah. but Juju probably just shoot a motherfucker I don't know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please don't Juju don't don't because you got a lot to live for go ahead Juju <laughs> pew, pew, yeah. pew. Hey, keep shooting him on the field man <laughs> let, let Ben Roethlisberger shoot them bullets at you and you catch him but yeah shout out to Juju though man I don't know about that then then Big Ben used to have some then then Big Ben come on Ben ain't got no clean slate but I ain't gonna go there I don't want to be in shoe. None hey, of that, no, nobody. Hey, sh- shout out to Juju. <laughs> oh, that's, what do. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. <laughs> shout out to Juju, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Don't let these haters bring you down, man. Please don't. <laughs> please, please, please don't. And I just want to mention this. I'm not going yeah. sad again, but just came across the wire. Rest in peace to Paul Westfall, man. He passed away at seven. Um, what was it? Brain cancer. He's a former NBA coach yeah. uh, mm-hmm. and legend. NBA legend. Uh, he was diagnosed with brain cancer last year, but who, uh, I wasn't looking for that. Who, 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 what team did he go? But it came across, and I wasn't trying. What's it? The Cap? What's the Cavaliers? Yeah, I want the. Oh, what's why the coach of the Cavaliers? I believe the Cavaliers. Oh, Phoenix too. Yes, I yeah. think he did have some uh, ties to Phoenix as well. But yeah, I I didn't want to mention. I just popped up. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even looking for it. It just popped up. So that okay. just came across a wide recipe to him. But can't blame this one on twenty twenty. Yeah, I guess we can. Well, he got diagnosed yeah, last year. He can. It's just off. That's why I said I'm not. I'm not officially in in mode yet. I'm just waiting. I'm just you know I'm playing it how I play it. But yeah. something. Let's revisit um, this Dwayne Haskins thing from last Ooh. year. Filling the merch, man. Oh, I appreciate it, man. You know, it's this is the uh, ladies free. Yeah. Let me Chuck, get you got one. I got one. We me, talk. We talked about it. Let me get in there. Pre warm up though, Jay. We. I, I was dancing on the middle of his logo. <laughs> <laughs> he disrespected me. I, I burnt his. <laughs> but yeah, Dwayne Haskins, I know we touched on last week about him being in a strip club. Who and, is this dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell. I was the whole time. I said, Chuck ain't even spell his name right. <laughs> Dwayne. Hey. <laughs> D-E-E. <laughs> hey, I took it back a couple of times. So I'm like, I'm going to get this shit right. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, he got um, he got released um, this week um, after after all the the speculation of him, you know, losing his captain spot on the team and being caught in the strip club without a mask, getting disciplined. And I want to I'm gonna give it to y'all because I've been kind of 
hog in the spotlight giving my opinion first so i just want to give see where y'all at with it on on this and what do y'all think about his release from the um washington football team after i almost said bro i almost said it <laughs> i almost caught it it's hard not to oh, say yeah, it. i've been yeah. saying it for so long but yeah what's your thoughts jp i'll start with you so uh when we initially got the just the report of uh, first incident you know i mean i think we were all in agreement on you know um no you just got to be careful uh, I, I I actually agree with him getting his captain spot taken away because I thought it was going to be somewhat of a motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, getting a captain spot, it shows that you're some somewhat of a leader on this team. You know what I'm saying? So get that taken away, especially as a quarterback, even though yeah, you're not officially the starting quarterback, but still that quarterback role and they call upon you is a, is a big job. So even after that, going into the next game, um, man, just... And I believe it was just all, oh, it was just like, man, one more mistake. And it was like, we got his ass. And then just coming to the, to the next game and then didn't play good. Didn't play good at all. I didn't actually watch the full game, but just, you know, I think it was the red zone. Just bringing clips back and forth. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the next clip come back and they got some other quarterback in. Come <laughs> to find out, they, they done benched them. So I'm like, damn, bro. Like, this was supposed to... I know what I'm saying? I'm like, because whatever, you make mistakes or whatever, but I'm like, I'm, I'm on your side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, Tom kind of made a good point. Uh, I didn't really notice as far as his relationship with him and uh, the coach. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of the coach. I'm actually a, a, a fan of Dwayne Hassan, but just seeing that, and, and, and uh, we've seen this quite a few times, even over the last year, just anything pretty much an excuse to get rid of them just because they was already pretty much got one, one foot out the door. Yeah. And uh, short, shortly after, you know what I'm saying, him getting bitched, they announced that they released him. And I was like, shit. Wait, wait a minute, was the game over? No, no. This is, <laughs> no, this is like the next day or two afterward. Yeah, bro, I'm like, oh. yeah, release at a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, bro, and I'm sitting right. like, damn, they making a statement statement. <laughs> Time out to release. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, they making a statement statement. No, nah, get stuff, man. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but Tom, <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom um, had made a good point where he was like, I think Ron Rivera, like, and not like he had something bad against him, but that just wasn't his quarterback. His quarterback, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I believe Haskins had a lot of pressure on himself. Because think about it, you got Alex Smith, even though he just got hurt again, he's pretty much r right there willing to take that role over, but mm -hmm. this is your time to shine, yeah. whether it's going to be on this team or not. So it's just unfortunate, mm -hmm. and I think just bad timing on his part. I wish him nothing but the best. And I, I even told Tony, I thought it was a bit of extreme as far as his consequences. I, if anything, I thought he was at least going to get benched yeah. and then maybe, maybe get released at the end of the year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, man, just, I mean, I try to nominate him for the smart dummy. I don't know if I had something else, but, bro, it's just, yeah. it's just, bro, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm still, I'm still root for you. I don't think your career is fully over, but you really fumbled the bag on this one. I, mean, I think he said, I think he said that too, man. He, he went there and admitted that. Uh, I mean, but yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, he went there and he took the blame. Yeah, and know what I'm saying. So, but that don't make it better. Yeah, that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So. that's my thing too, man. Like, like, like you say, quarterbacks get benched all the time. We done seen, man, quarter starting quarterbacks getting benched, benched, and benched, and a lot of times it's mm -hmm. to. I'm not gonna say prove a point, but just to make a statement. You know, make a statement because yeah. then that next week they come back and they yeah. ball out for yeah. the most part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, but but, but, but to be released, I'm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a whole different game right there. Yeah, maybe that's got something to do with y'all y'all favorite term as far as them contracts too, man. Maybe if you guarantee that money a little bit, a little bit more, they wouldn't release nobody. And then, well, you know what's crazy is Dwayne. Um, had to have a decent contract because he was a first round pick. I don't know yeah. what he went like. How long has 14 he been in the Two like two years. So I mean, bro, I thought Hash has been in the league about five or six years. No, mm -hmm. this is yeah, wow. yeah, he didn't finish his first still contract. Young dude, man. Wow, I don't know why I yeah, thought he so, was past the rookie contract. Was he a one and done in college or uh, I, I, mean, I think or? he played a couple years in college. Okay. But the the crazy part about it is that that's why I said like I of course I know for these organizations it's not a lot of money, but he didn't. He wasn't number one, so of mm -hmm. course he didn't have that 
tag on them. But a first round draft pick, you are paid pretty yeah. pretty decent. You know what I mean? So especially at quarterback. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like the fact that Ron Rivera went to the owner and said, We gonna release him told me everything I needed to know because at least you would keep him on your bench yeah. until he finishes that contract so you're not having to pay out the rest of that contract with with him being gone. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So essentially you're gonna pay for him to go somewhere else. So that when you do that, that tells me that you really want to get rid of somebody. And that's why is I just it, kept saying like Is the NFL contract set up like that? Do you believe in not Chuck? I don't think they you, you gotta watch your ass like outside the field. And set up like what? Like, like oh, you got yeah. If you if you release, I don't think NFL got to pay you. Oh yeah, you do. The, you pay your guarantee. Yeah, the guarantee. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. guarantee is so low and dog on NFL. Well, that's, 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 that's one that's, of the most awful fans in the yeah, NFL. That, that's why for years people always say, if you ever hear people talking about contract, pay attention to that the guarantee guaranteed money. Yeah, that guarantee. That's, money. That's, that's the big thing. Because anything that's can why happen. They, you, yeah. you can get hurt and all that. That's the big thing with the running backs. Yeah, we. Yeah, yeah, because they feel like they plug and play, and that's why a lot of just like athletes is uh, concentrating on that guaranteed money. So is the, the organization because yep. they're like, like we be looking at these numbers like, oh my god, this dude just signed for a hundred and ten million. Oh yeah, but it's thirty million guaranteed. That's all that mm-hmm. organization is focusing on. They're yeah. like, we on the hook for this. He might not even make it, yep. to it. or he probably ain't. It's football. Let's yep. just be honest. It's business. So they're like, hey. He ain't gonna make it to see this contract, and then once he get close, we'll trade him. Mm-hmm. Bill Belichick been a master at that for years, getting rid of people before they get to that that look of expiration where people even start to doubt. You know what I mean? And, and that's probably the only thing that I've always disliked about Belichick. I mean, it was just maybe Do more it. personal yeah. that, like, damn, like... Yeah, you just got rid of him. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I be feeling for some of these players, like, damn, they just be... He, like, he don't... Waste no time. Like, he he do it. The perfect timing. You know what I'm saying? Just like, bro, mm-hmm. that's why I be like, man, I had a little bit, but you don't have so much beef because, I mean, he's been successful over this last yeah. decade. Yep. So, it's just... No, so, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... Shit. Be- more than what... Shit, damn it. I think as far as just the, since 2000, as far as, as far as you want to bring up a coach that's had more success, the most success, it, I think it is Bill Belichick. Uh-huh. I mean, I know you, you, you got a couple other ones, but as far as just... Think about it. They team finna miss the playoffs for the first time since since like what two thousand nine or something like that. What team was that? Yeah, the, the Patriots. Yeah, and you know what? Speaking of the Patriots, said <laughs> oh, I see you going, Chuck. Yeah, that's what exactly. Was <laughs> and I'm glad you said that. When you said Belichick, my ears just lit up. I'm like, <laughs> your light bulb went off. I'm like, see, this brings me to something that pains me to say, but I'm going to say it. I think Cam Newton might be done as a starting quarterback in the NFL. Whew. Hold and on. That is, is, yeah. on, that's, that's a big bold. That's a statement right there. Yeah, coming, coming from bro. From yeah, yeah, coming yeah, from yeah. bro. Coming from me. That's Please a, elaborate, bro. Man, and before I elaborate, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, wait. Subscribe because we might lose some subscribers <laughs> to some diehard Cam Newton fans. Right. Even though he's a diehard Cam Newton fan. Right. So if you, if you want the inside information <laughs> on this Cam situation, subscribe now. And don't touch that dial. <laughs> right. 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 Okay, now we're back. After the timeout, so. Right. <laughs> timeout, you released. <laughs> oh, but, man. Uh, but, man, let me just tell y'all what I saw. And I was watching the game. <laughs> Um, at the last game the Patriots played um, shoot I forgot who they was playing but it don't matter because <laughs> what I saw had nothing to do with the other team they rushed Cam Cam stepped up in the pocket I think it was the Bills took off yes it was the Bills thank you took off took three steps Cam threw that ball he threw that ball <laughs> <laughs> he threw the ball and it went in the dirt and my man was wide open. And I was like, it's over. But that was only one play, though, bro. Was it short? Was it long? It was short in the dirt. Like, I'm talking about even my man I was going to catch was like, I was open. <laughs> His body like, you know how you don't want to call your quarterback out. I know everything in him was like, Cam, yeah. how'd you miss that? But... Like, Cam has been <laughs> one of the... 
He's been one of the unique players at getting by when your mechanics ain't what I guess you would call traditional. Traditional, or just he didn't come out with these factory settings. Like he just, <laughs> he wasn't your tra- you know your traditional quarterback. He he. Of course, we know about the running ability, but throwing the ball, his mechanics just look so weird. I don't know if y'all ever pay attention when Cam throw. Look like his shoulder hurts. Like he like, ugh, like he really like looks like it hurts. Just just pay attention next time y'all see him throw. But mm-hmm. when I seen that, and it, <laughs> I know Jay he said it's just one throw, but I've seen it go in the dirt too many times. And that did he have a shoulder injury? Uh, preparing yes, for this year. Yes, and I and that's why I'm like I I didn't want to really. Bang on Cam because I, of course, y'all know I'm a fan, but I, yeah. I just be honest. But I just looked at his play and I know early on he looked so good, and then COVID, and then he came back and he looked like COVID, and then <laughs> <laughs> you know, he looked like <laughs> then he started to get better. And I, mm-hmm. I get it, bro. I, I do think Cam can be successful with weapons around him. Mm-hmm. But what bothers me is I watch Cam, and this might have been the problem. I watch Cam versus Josh Allen. Oh, and man. so I watch Cam throw in the dirt. And then I watch Josh Allen sling it around the yard. <laughs> like, like it don't matter. Like I can throw this with my eyes closed. Josh Allen out there like. picking up dirt. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Josh Allen out there throwing it with two fingers and it's going 75 yards. Bro, and Stephon D is just having a blast. He's just out there. Ha <laughs> ha. Touchdown. One Touchdown. day, one day we're going to talk about Josh Allen. That boy, uh, he, he had a bright future at. Uh, he, oh, he's, absolutely! He's pretty accurate, yes, pretty he did. accurate quarterback. But I, I just wanted to get that. That's my little camera. I hope I'm wrong, but I hope so too. I will say this: I know he's got more years, and this was this year was different. It was a unique year. There's no training camp. Of course, the man couldn't even get signed by a couple other teams because they couldn't look at. Him. But mm-hmm. I think Cam. I hope he'll get better. I'm just scared that, based off his performance and not having weapons, makes him look even worse. You know what I mean? Because I think he's average right now. I think he's slightly above average. Yeah. You know, just his running ability alone makes him above average. Uh, but so, think he wasn't to change his position? Yeah. To run back? Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> My bad. You said change his position. I said yeah. I thought you meant as far as going to backup quarterback. That's all. You I think said, so? Yeah. He said that before he signed. He uh, said with the that. Yeah, I he just, said he's I willing just, to take. I just a, couldn't see. Like, I can't either. But because I remember, I thought about yeah, I brought it to you. I was like, well, it's either. If he boils down today, it's either you can take a back up to a solid team, or you got a couple teams that are, that, are, that are go get them. And yeah. that one of my name was Jacksonville. What was the other one you said? Um, Jacksonville. Well, I don't think Jacksonville. Yeah, was, now was that before this season though? What? When, when you said teams would go get them because he was out there for a little while. Before. Yeah, he was out well, there. Well, I'm, well, I'm just saying teams right well, now. That was the desperate. Panthers that did him wrong. Yeah. The Panthers waited and waited to yeah. to release him till all the teams had pretty much made yeah. all their decisions, and he was just kind of stranded. But um, as far I think, because I think Cam is better than probably half the league. I know we ain't gonna go down the whole list, but I think Cam is probably somewhere middle of the pack. So, as but far as my issue is, do you think that he can definitely go somewhere and be? A he's not one hundred percent healthy. I think he. I think he is, but that was the concern coming to this year with a lot of teams. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody wanted to see if he was healthy. Yeah. I I do think, I think he's healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, I, at this point in time of the year, ain't too many people healthy though. It's the end of the season. Oh, yeah. But I seen him in the beginning. He looked so good in the beginning of the season. That's why I said I just think this. It. it I think it's a bad combination of. No weapons, no off season, COVID. Yeah, it's just twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Cam got a case of twenty twenty. I'm gonna leave it there. So he gonna be good next year. I just don't know where he gonna be. Yeah. But this situation may be so unique because I really think they could have been. We're not gonna go there. We went there already. Just about with their record, but this may this situation may be so unique that he just may be back in in New England next year. So. so. I, let me just let's just take a couple of seconds. I just judged enough for this year, and uh, I'm not shocked that the Patriots did that one year contract. I'm gonna just say, if I were to predict, I don't think he will be. 
Um, I don't know. It, I think it was just something with them drafting that uh, quarterback. What's that dude's name? The Stidham. <laughs> yeah, Stidham. <man. laughs> I, I, I mean, I, Jared Stidham. Yeah, I, I mean, I think. I mean, I, at this point, as far as I think, Belichick is, you know, because we don't know how many more years Belichick can coach. He probably. I mean, you've seen coaches that's, you know, in their 60s, 70s still out there, especially some college coaches. But mm-hmm. you know, I think uh, Belichick. You know, we've seen his patience that he have with players. I mean, he's not saying there's no disrespect to Cam, and I'm pretty sure he has all respect for him as far as... Excuse but me. it was a lot to come with that one-year contract uh, that he signed with them. I mean, um, I honestly... I don't know. I, I really I really, I really, don't don't see no like where the Patriots is trying to go with this. Because even if they do bring Cam back, what's going to change? Yeah, because you got to bring yeah. some other stuff back. You know, because, I mean, the, the, the way y'all was playing, y'all was playing like y'all was trying to, you know what I'm saying, fight to get into the, you know what I'm saying, into the playoffs. Hey, I'm going to tell you another thing that we overlooked, and even me, I overlooked it. Julian Edelman is like Cam's, like, that's like his teddy bear at night. Like, you know how little kids have to, have to sleep with that teddy bear? <laughs> oh, so you talking about... It was a pause moment. I'm just saying. When like, Edelman is I'm just saying when Cam Ed- Yeah, because Cam <laughs> is no longer like a deep ball thrower no more. We don't see him throw it downfield, so well, it's only them short intermediate it, routes. And Edelman been out. I think it got a lot to do with the confidence in your receivers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a combination. It's such a weird and bad combination for him. And But... When Julian Edelman was there earlier in the year, Cam looked really good. You know what I mean? And then he was gone. Mm-hmm. And then COVID and everything else happened. And, you know, just like, like, see that like right there. Like, his running ability is so good. Like, he's going to, he's still got at least, to me, three or four more years of that, that running ability before he just, you know, I mean, Cam been taking hits for a long time, but I he, he plays a little bit. Tight in. <laughs> he would though. They try to kill his he own position. I, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to save his career. You know what I'm saying? But see, yeah, there, I, there we go, right there. You see that little short pass of Edelman yeah. that he turns on for 15? Like, see, like, it's look solid. at that. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's his bread and butter right there. That's why, Jules. Hey, Jules. I know that's what they call him. <laughs> I'm not calling you a teddy bear, dog. I was just saying yes, that, yes. like, your relationship with Cam is. <laughs> He needs you, bro. He needs you to sleep at night. <laughs> he ain't been sleeping well at night. These Patriots fans, I know they're going crazy, but they, I can't. I definitely can't blame this song on Cam, though. That's it's not on Cam. This is just a hot mess. Granted, like we keep talking about how much the Patriots didn't pay him, but we forget they didn't pay him because they really couldn't. I, they so tore, which is weird because I see them in this salary cap hell, and I'm like, who are you paying besides Stephon Gilmore? But. That's a whole nother thing. Yes, and then the defense opting out. Yeah, right. on top of that, Gilmore getting hurt. So yeah. even by the even if they would have made the playoffs, it wasn't gonna be good. But I mean yeah. I don't wanna toot my horn, but I did say they wasn't gonna make it. Oh, you absolutely absolutely said they wasn't but gonna make it. But it was they, they came close. They came closer than what I expected though. But I think if it wasn't for them two COVID games that really cost them, we gotta think about the COVID games, whether they would have won or not, we don't know. But then the two games where it came down to the last play of the game with Seattle <laughs> he got stopped, and then Buffalo, they was driving the, um, a few weeks before this last Buffalo mm-hmm. game, and Cam fumbled when it was in field goal range to win the game. So those little things, they cost them. I mean, that that's like four wins right there, yeah. possibly. You know, so, I uh, could be, yeah. you know, we'll see. Well, I was going to say, we was all root for Cam. At the, at Who? The, yeah. When we first heard of him. Yeah, I we definitely. I was, yeah. I, I, I thought you was rooting a little bit, too, for Cam. Not, not for necessarily yeah, I'm not Patriots, like a Patriot yeah. Fan I like thought that, you loved Rufus Cam a little bit. I definitely Rufus oh. Cam. Nah, you, yeah, that was your sign. Your sign was going at it, I think. Yeah, I What's definitely. Rufus. When you get benched twice in one season, I, I don't know. That's why I'm just kind of scared. But we can get off of Cam. But it just, I'm that's why I'm bringing up other positions for him. Just <laughs> hey, hey, hey you need a manager or something, bro? Because <laughs> I, I can leave you to the problem. What you talking about when he got hurt? No, bro, he he, he got benched. Uh, it was maybe a week or two after he had COVID. As a matter of fact, I think it was that, that next oh, week. Oh, yeah. See, that's COVID, though. I ain't, I ain't yeah, But that. They, they still had... But <laughs> I, he, thought you was talk, I actually but, thought you was talking about with but the Panthers. I think because it's all, it all based on the player as far as especially getting clear from a doctor, but it's based on that player, how they feeling. He let them know that he was okay to go. He went out there, looked like shit, and they benched him. That's yeah. what I was saying. They it's, 
They yeah. all say they okay to cool. Yeah. <laughs> Two mm-hmm. days. Yeah. Like Cam should have set his ass right on that bench because he knew he wasn't ready. <laughs> Jay so gonna switch his whole position up. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to throw. I'm trying to. I'm telling you, uh, he's, he's trying to get out. I, I feel him over there, man. Cam will be a great tight end. Bro. Cam will cut you out. Cam will cut you out. <laughs> you notice all these highlights. Put it back there in the wildcat, huh, Jay? On the jewels. <laughs> what we got, man? Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Man. Before we get caught up in this, man. But we still on sports, man. Let's let's talk about. Um, <clears throat> Are we into uh, football? This the T.O. and McNabb thing, man. I, I know it's old and it's been going on for a long time, but and I don't know if y'all have paid attention to this last latest. Um, I, I was actually seen on Bleacher Report. It was the latest little video that they did where um, <clears throat> they were talking to T.O. this time. Mind you, they did an interview with Donovan McNabb. Whew, years back and mm-hmm. I forget my man's name but they you know they shoot pool and they be in there you know just talking asking questions and this feud with T.O. and Donovan McNabb is still going on that's an old feud now. it's an old feud old feud but it's still going on and the the thing that I took out of it when they asked T.O. about it have you tried to reach out and mend this thing like why is it he said I tried he said, I tried a few times, which most people find surprising coming from T.O. Because they all, everybody always thinks T.O. is like, yeah, like is, the, yeah, it's yeah, canceled his asshole. He's done some things, right. And yeah, and they definitely put that on him. And so as he was sitting there talking about it, he, you know, he said that and that caught my eye. I was like, wow. I was like, this, this is still going on. But then he said some things that I was like, oh, T.O. I was, I, look, I had my popcorn. But then at the same time, I was like, oh, no, nah. he said, remember the rumor that Donovan McNabb threw up in the, in the huddle? Yeah. And during the Super Bowl. And so. And that cat actually came out late, too. Yeah. And Donovan McNabb was denying it. He's been denying it, still denying it. He's like, okay, I tell y'all, like I always say, if, if that happened, you know, so many cameras on the field, show, show me the footage. Mm-hmm. You know, so he denies it. So T.O. was like, I didn't personally see it, but I know my teammates told me he threw up, and I know he threw up. And he said, "I know that he was out the night before because some of my teammates told me he was out drinking." I was like, "Oh no, nah, we snitching now." <laughs> <laughs> but I was listening. I'm not gonna lie, I was listening, and so I'm like, "Damn!" I'm like, so he basically hinted at him being hungover, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. And then, you know, he just went on to say that he think it was jealousy. Because of you know the the crowd went from McNabb McNabb to they was chanting in Philly T O T O so he like I just think it was a jealousy thing that happened and I'm just like this is a little bit it's getting a little bit messy after all this time and you know he's but one thing that he said some of the um, some of the anger came from when Brian uh, um, Westbrook was getting his contract. Oh, that was my boy. Brandon that was one of my Ooh. favorite. Yeah, that was one of my favorite running backs. Yes, sir. When he got his contract, he's like, McNabb was so vocal about his contract and advocating for him and, you know, he should get his money. But he's like, when it came to me, he was saying some other things and, you know, made a couple statements that we, we, we good without him, you know. In which McNabb did make those statements. I don't know if he meant it that way at the time, but it was that everybody was, when he got hurt, I don't know if y'all remember when T.O. got hurt and mm-hmm. broke his leg yeah. with the horse collar tackle that uh, Roy Williams did on him, and which actually started that rule <laughs> with that horse collar. And so he, in press conferences, they played good without him. And then in press conferences, Donovan was basically insinuating, we good, we good without him. We still play, which they was balling. You know, they got to the I, Super Bowl. I didn't like that shit. Man. <laughs> so you yeah. good without my boy? So, yeah. So... <laughs> That's where he says a lot of the, you know, the, the anger came from. And then, you know, just the, the head bumping and them just kind of coming to that divide and that fork in the road where they realize, like, you know, I guess it is what it is. You know, we, we, we are going to be this. And, but it's just amazing to me that they're still feuding after this long. And I don't know if y'all seen it, but let me just ask y'all what... <laughs> The overall few, you know, between T.O. I mean, what do y'all think about it at this point? Like, 
Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Now they, they got some unresolved issues. They need to get. They need to be the better next ones in that doggone boxing ring. I think, man. <laughs> Lay it on out. <laughs> this been going on entirely too long, man. You doing? We ain't from Philly, so we really don't care, you know, about they Super Bowl. But it, it was dramatic then. I remember T.O. doing them little sit ups or whatever the hell he was doing in the middle of his driveway. Then you know what? He addressed that too, and I found some insight. But I'm, I'm gonna let Jay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Speak on it, and then I'll, I'll go into that. What he said about that. I mean, just I'm actually not shocked. I've mm-hmm. been a big To fan. To is the reason why I like the 49ers to this day. That's yeah. when I really started following them. I actually was a Philly. I actually used to love the Philly, and I think bro, bro, actually used to like him too when he yeah. was with Philly with Don McNabb and Huge Westbrook. Fan. I was uh, Brian Dog is on that team Brian too. Say so like, bro, they did that. So. Uh, yeah, and I remember that press conference and yeah, just like seeing like because the team actually was still being successful without my boy on the field without To. So yeah, I've all, I've always had just some little some you know what I'm saying toward I me mean, at, at McNabb, and I'm just like I'm not shocked because if anything, and people might call me crazy because this picture got painted at To in, in some way, rightfully so. To brought some stuff on himself, but you know how the NFL do when when when, when the, hey. I just seen the NFL blackball so many players, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, but just seeing that, okay, well, if it's going to take for McNabb to actually uh, pretty much accept whatever peace offering or just to talk to him, right? It, that, and I didn't see McNabb doing that to the point where that's why I'm like, okay, well, I'm really not shocked that they still not cool to this day. You know what I'm saying? I, I, um, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just, like I said, uh, that's all I had on that. I mean, just with T.O., I mean, just, just just hearing him recently over the last couple of years, and you know he how he have just I I, I think To regrets a lot of things because yeah. mm-hmm. he knows where he should 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 be at and where yeah. he and, and where he wasn't because to me To still had so many years left in the league, you know, and then going back to the 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 ceremony with the Hall of Fame when he. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about how he he was supposed to have got it years back, but that's kind of going on top of it. But just this my overall thing, I'm actually not shocked that this little feud is still going on because of Donovan McNabb. Like I, I just I'm like, well, if we ain't really heard too much nothing from him, then yeah, I, I already know ain't shit really went nowhere over the years. So. Yeah, it's just crazy that over all these years that they still beefing, but. I think they should resolve it on this podcast. I think we should get both of them online, man. And, Damn good idea. And you know, just talk it out, man. Just at, and the end result be, all right, we good. <laughs> you know, all right, we good. You know, I just think at this point, and I, I know some beefs never get resolved, man. Like I, I'm not sitting here thinking that someday magically, Fifty Cent Ja Rule is gonna be cool again. It's not <laughs> gonna happen. It's not. So I get it. There's some beefs that just go that deep. Personally. I don't know behind the scenes stuff on this, but I don't think it's that deep where that, that they yeah, can't yeah, rectify. Can't, yeah. You know, I just, I don't, you know. And even T.O. said, you know, I, I thought, like, even if y'all just come to a point where y'all like, we might not ever talk, you know what I'm saying, on the phone every week or, you ain't on my Christmas list, but See, we still cool, yeah, you know what I mean? But and that's why I was telling you with me now, like, I just feel like he, he holds, he's been holding grudges just from yeah. a lot of stuff that happened in the NFL, mm-hmm. a lot of stuff that happened in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Right there's wheels with the culture. So we're like, yeah, he, he, he's held grudges. We haven't heard too much. Well, I haven't heard too much from him on the last couple of years or so as far as anything. So, I mean, that's why I'm like, that's why I, I just wasn't surprised. So. Yeah. As I'm not surprised. But, you know, going back to what you were saying about the, the sit-ups and stuff like that. He said he had a disagreement with Andy Reid. And Andy Reid sent him home. You know, it was contract. Contract dispute. So Andy Reid told him, you go home, you know, you chill out and you cool off and we'll, we'll work it out. You know, we'll figure this thing out. So he said, when I got home, I went home. He said, but somebody had leaked, you know, what happened. He said, I turned TV on and I see <clears throat> my whole situation like I already, you know, which just goes to show you how fast news travels. He said, so I get a knock at my door. He said, I look, he said, and I see all these news cameras out there he's like i see the press in my front yard he said so of course he you know which was great to me because people paint him as and i know he could be a little bit i don't want to say caught up in himself but you know 
He was though. Yeah, yeah, he can be a little yeah, arrogant. He, he, yeah, definitely, he, he definitely he definitely has some arrogance to him. Yeah, but, but I think that a lot of that was backed up when he got on that field. Oh, that's a fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, he could definitely back yeah, it up. That, yeah, definitely. That's why, you know, we, we can't hold against him. But he said, you know, he talked to his publicist. And I, I love when he said this. He said, if y'all look in that video, he said, I had an earpiece in my ear. Mm-hmm. He said, and so my publicist was telling me what to say. He said, and I, I just, I, I was just telling him, enjoy the show. He said, they wanted the show. And that's what I gave him. He said, that's why I went out there. He said, and he really told me, and I don't want to quote him. He's like, you know, you go home, chill out, you know, just keep yourself together. He said, that's what I was doing. I was staying in shape. I was doing so. He was going to sit up in his front yard, which was brilliant to me. Yeah. Like, now yeah. that I think about it and I go back and I was like, man, it was funny then. I didn't I didn't think that was that big of a deal. I just said, man, he being man. Yeah. <laughs> that, yep. that was definitely T.O.B. and T.O. But it was just, it was crazy to hear that story. You know, he said, my publicist was, you know, feeding me lines in my ear and I was just he said, that's why I laughed. He said, I had a good time with it. You know, y'all want to show up? Y'all want to make it a show yeah. in the circus? He said, they knew what was going on. I didn't tell them. You know, he said, they knock at my front door. And that's another thing, like, real quick, I just wanted to say, like, I know that comes with stardom and everything, but, like, why do y'all have my address? <laughs> like, <laughs> I know things are, you know, super public now, and people can find you, find, you know, address and stuff like that, but, like, that, that would have pissed me off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just the press being knocking at your front door like you like you have a right. That go back to what I was saying about old me and how like what when it's like well back then I think it wasn't as big as it is now, but a lot of people, thousands of people make this is how they make it they living. Off of following mm-hmm. people, off of getting news. So just imagine how many times Hill has got even though his neighborhood might might be gated off or something like that. Man, you might got people to the point where they have somebody move into that neighborhood just mm-hmm. so, you know what I'm saying, they just that's follow they the cash. As soon yep. as he leave yeah. to where he going until he come back. Like, this is how people make money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, that's what I'm Absolutely. Like. Yeah. Like, that, that's, that'd be my only thing. Like, man, bro, stop following me. Like, shit, I got to take a fucking jet from, from the crib. <laughs> yeah. Bring a helicopter. Yeah, they be right there at the landing yeah. pad, man. Man. Yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. Something, you know, to think about, but... We move on. So <laughs> we back. <laughs> We're back. We back. Mortimer. <laughs> I got a question I, for y'all. That's how I felt like playing that uh pit with y'all, man. <laughs> Barley. Hey, I, I, I got a question for y'all. What you got, man? I'm thinking more, maybe more, um, towards bro, because I don't think he ever he even heard this question yet. Tom might have heard, it. Mm. but it was something that was brought up in our group. Mm. Y'all ain't. Go and follow us at Ladies Free Before 11 Pod and on Facebook. Got a lot What's of that? interactions that be going on on there. I seen a post that goes that went over a lot of people's head. You know, um, just it's just really how you thinking. You know what I'm saying? Just real, just some real strong thoughts. You know, and I just wanted to bring it to you fellas and see before you start, man. Your thoughts, bro, it really be having me thinking. Like, example. The nine vote. <laughs> that, that's that's still gonna be loud in 2021. We go ahead, though. I knew it. I knew it. But yeah, so it was a question, and I'll read it. And as soon as I'm done reading it, one of y'all can take the floor. Gotcha. Come on. The question is, fellas, <laughs> addressing the fellas, if you catch your chick in the car with the nigga that you was fucking, who you shooting first, her or him? Me personally, I'm probably gonna have to say myself, even though that wasn't one of the answers. <laughs> Why you shooting yourself? I bro? don't expect to be <laughs> see my chick in the car with a nigga that I've been fucking. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. Hey, he played that one so hey, smooth. You know, 2020 was, was nasty and fucked up, but shit. Bro. <laughs> right, I ain't get that nasty, dude. Bro, the way you started talking, I'm like, oh, I'm shit. Like, Uh-oh. And I'm over here like, no. Because <laughs> we did have somebody who oh, didn't yeah. pay no attention. We ain't going to say no And name. he said, I'm shooting the tires. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So you is fucking it. Right. 
Oh, so they's your man. Right? Shoot, shoot the ties. Ain't, no, ain't nobody going nowhere. We all finna have some fun, huh? <laughs> you see how I said how it just go over people? Yeah. Head, people that that is answer as a question, man. What, what, would you, what would you do? I mean, I, I, ain't no question that's gonna be brought to me. I'm just I'm saying, seen the person that asked me the question. <laughs> right. You ain't ever know. Would you pull the battery out and make sure you, you know, y'all all have some fun? Mm-hmm. If, if that's the one, you know, it's, it's a so different I, world out here, bro. I guess yeah, I should have responded. Never. When he said he was going to shoot the tires first, so I'm like, is that a threesome? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, that, oh, man. <laughs> that, that's your bad. Well, hey, whatever, happened, whatever goes on in them tinted windows in them cars, man, you know. I just, I, I just, I just had to check your temperature in 2021. Oh, okay, see where yeah. you're at. He's about to check. I'm glad that look ain't kick in too far. Man. <laughs> right. Yeah. I should have waited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might have got me. Oh, okay. bro, I'm true. All on the floor. <laughs> Jay, hit us with this briefing, man, on um, uh, the, the new shoe deal from uh, Master Well, Well, uh, I don't think it's yet. I don't think it's nothing official yet, but when I heard it, uh, I actually got, got excited. I mean, we all know as far as when it comes to Master P, just, I mean, even the people that don't know and found out, just like me, I didn't know until like maybe early this year, late last year, just just the amount of success he's had mm-hmm. just doing other things just because it's not always put out in the forefront. But yeah, it's, it, it was talk saying that, uh, excuse me, Master P and ex-NBA star Baron Davis were going to talk to buying Reebok that's worth over $2.4 billion. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, I haven't even heard nothing from Baron Davis, you know what I'm saying, since he and the next league. I mean, you guys might have, but just something quick. I'm gonna say uh, their purchase could re-energize the Reebok brand. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody Absolutely. has a. You no, know, you just don't hear people. I'm gonna go out and look some Reeboks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It can I, really, I, I haven't been looking for Reeboks lately. Yeah, I it, can't it, find them nowhere. Yeah, it, it can re-energize it and m- m- make it more of a, a street a streetwear brand, especially I, with. Newer ownerships of it. I thought it was going to re-energize when Rick Ross was moonwalking. <laughs> 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 it it could have, but them, them verses. You know, yeah, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. What he me, said. All, all yeah. that Reebok advertising money went yeah, to that yeah. right out the window. Huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, so just quick. Uh, the rap mogul Master P and former NBA star Baron Davis is in negotiation talk uh, to... Uh, in, in the negotiation to buy Reebok from his parent company, Adidas. Adidas yeah. So I didn't know that that was actually yeah, a Adidas parent company for two point four oh, million. Okay. Yeah, I didn't uh, know that. The deal would make mm-hmm. a legendary shoe giant for the first black-owned sneaker brand. So, yeah. just leaving that there. Hey, I saw this. I mean, of course, anything as far as when it comes to putting whatever you want to call it, black or just our culture. Attached to, especially uh, 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 of this nature, Reebok is not a small brand. When you think of shoes, mm-hmm. you think Nike, Adidas, Reebok. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Under Armour. You know, now it's, it's, yeah. Now you got Puma. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got Puma. Front. So, mm-hmm. but this is most definitely a shoe brand. And I said it might not be for for everybody as far as whatever taste they got. But you know, just I, I call it putting a little. Flavor on in the way, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and I, I think it's, 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 it's actually big. Well, seasoning, yeah, you know what I'm saying, it's a little, little, little salt yeah. dude, okay. you know what I'm saying, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's actually just a little, little looking to purchase it for two, uh, as it's worth 2.4 billion dollars. Yeah. I mean, just show what uh, Magic P and Baron Davis has been doing behind the scenes and actually Shout putting themselves Davis. in this position. I mean, I don't know yeah. if you got. More to speak on Barry because I didn't, I didn't, I, I don't count people money, but I didn't yeah. know like he was in position to do something like yeah. this. That, that's know? why I said shout out to Barry yeah. Davis, like because we know what what P doing. We know mm-hmm. Master yeah, yeah. P's brand and his his just his stature. We we know what Master P his mogul status. Mm-hmm. We know his brand's in place. We are always assume. But Baron Davis, shout out to him because that just says that you doing right with your bread post NBA. Yeah. yeah. Which we don't see a lot of people do, yeah. you know. We see I a lot like of people to see that get, percentage because I know it's not that high. Yeah, so even though I'm sure there there may be some other people invest investors oh, yeah. involved in this group, but I man, I love it. I and I also think this would definitely be a springboard for Master P because he's been trying to get into the shoe game, and I don't know if I uh, yeah, paid attention to the Magnatis. Yeah. Well, he's in it, yeah. but I mean with the Magnatis, but mm-hmm. the Magnatis haven't. To me, it hasn't become household. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So I think this would definitely be a way yeah. for him. Now I have 
the real brand because the shoe industry ain't, ain't easy to crack you know no, because people people are so used to wearing certain the brands new. and yeah and, and, and that's why i expand. give jordan so much pride it's just just the, the timing of it mm-hmm. bro just, just just imagine just say it wasn't jordan that blew up just say it was like that whatever whoever it is you know what I'm saying the blew up and came out with a a, a brand mm-hmm. and then uh, dealing with Nike and just bro that Jordan shoe brand is set you know what I'm saying that shit is set yeah. for years to come Mike cannot do anything else yes but shoes and bro, be fine for the rest yeah. of the I mean I don't I mean I don't know how true it is but even some years back when they said that he he had gave just that full ownership and just as far as the release dates and the income on it to two of his kids, I think his daughter and then one of his sons. Mm. So his kids good. actually runs that now. They good. Oh, okay. they, they good. Then one of the other brothers um, is one of the uh, top execs for the clubs, the the the, the, the those clubs that, that, that he got out. Um, what the hell is the club called? Or, John Mans. Uh, or no, the restaurant. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 restaurants. You okay. know what I'm saying? So. Man, I know this is going off of that, but man, yeah, just saying like, man, Mike, I, like, it's just the the, the best time, and like, just the, just how much money his, his his just has been made off his name is still to this day, and they don't let him come out with the same shoes, just change colorways, and still make millions and millions of yeah. dollars. That's it, man. That's so, it. Uh, just, just looking at this right now, man, I ain't know Baron Davis was the original, uh, one of the original <clears throat> investors in Vitamin Water, man. Oh, oh shit. I didn't know. Yeah, it popped up on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's been doing this for a while. Hey, hey that's yeah. just some of that bread. Right. <laughs> shit. Because, man, hey, hey, man, man, why didn't I invest So, in good that? stuff for black folks. And, you know, you know, P going P gonna to do his thing, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, because y'all going to pick up some of the hoodie hoo. We need to holler at him, too, man. We hey, start pushing them hoodie hoo. I, I seriously will. I, I want to get some, man. Mm-hmm. Definitely put some. Um, Black uh, owned products in, yeah. in, in the crib, man. So that's I always, I'm telling y'all right now. This morning. I never had nothing against Reebok. I used to rock Reeboks. They mm-hmm. just kind of went out of style for me. Yeah. But if if P and, and and BD get behind this, I'm going to copy. Just drop the classics first. Yeah, I will definitely go grab me some more classics. I see them now, and I'll be like, man, I remember them, yeah. you know. But yeah, that's that's big stuff. I definitely want to shout out both of them, and I hope it happens. I hope it goes down. Both of them had they both had an NBA push too, man. One uh, yes. P in, in, in the NBA. Yep, he played Pre-season. for Charlotte yeah. and the Raptors. Yeah, see, but then Child even Hunt. look at the bigger picture. Look how big Adidas is. Yeah, I didn't know Adidas was that big. Yeah, oh yeah, Adidas. I, Adidas made it long. No, I know Adidas too. was big, but. Uh, be to pretty the much parent company to 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 <clears throat> to, to, to Reebok. Yeah, I said we already know the. You know what I'm saying the Nike, and then I saw all the. And I said I'm not putting Adidas low, but just not knowing. Okay, like damn, y'all got a whole nother shoe company up under y'all. Yeah, that yeah. I think that's, yeah, that's, you know I, mean? I think that's yeah. the main thing all the major shoe brands do. Like, um, and I think I this think is Nike, a orange yeah, company. I forgot. I think Nike's, Nike snatched up uh, Converse and did the same yeah. thing. Just yeah. held, you know, held them for a little while. So yeah, that name is out there. That brand is out there. They just uh-huh. hold it for a little while. Yeah, try to revamp. Yeah, and, you know, reinvent itself. But yeah, that's that's big. That's big. That's big. Yeah, you know, huge. Shout out to them, man. And I hope they get it, man. Definitely round of applause to them, brothers, man. Right? Mm-hmm. And then that whole group, whoever else, you know, is part of that group. So. I love it, man. Shout out to B D. Shout out to the, the, the original Master beard. P. Master P, man. Yeah, Master P has been just like uh, people not paying attention to what he's doing, but Master P has been so influential and so <clears throat> at the forefront of this movement, man. Like he's been preaching this before all of this yeah. stuff broke out. Like Master P has been preaching this, and if you don't take advice from nobody else, man. Look at what that came yeah, from. Yeah. Look at his story. So. I said, I ain't never liked his music, man, but I definitely respect it. His, his <laughs> business. Man. The way he run his business, dude, hella respect for him. I, man. Don't, I don't agree with that first. Statement. You ain't got to <laughs> agree. Yeah, yeah. agree with it, but I mean, yeah. that's, that, that's just my opinion. Okay. That, that hey. music, I'm going to never. You ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't never say, uh. Yeah. I, Your I, girl ain't never made you say, uh. I, I say, uh. You, you know, so you, every so, morning on the so, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, that, that's where your girl got it from. Okay, I gotta do this to make him sound like Master P. I gotta suck it right here, so he just be like, uh. Ah, he's crazy. That's on that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> right, we going two different ways with it. Hey, a quick shout out though, while we in this little sports NBA ram. <clears throat> shout out to Becky Hammond, first 
female first woman to ever coach an NBA game. And that happened, of course, y'all know she's been on the uh, San Antonio Spurs staff yeah. for a couple of years now. But Pop went out for whatever reason and she stepped in and coached and... <clears throat> that's how she became the first. That, that's a big feat. Yeah. That's a big feat. I, th- I actually thought she had did that before. What happened with Timmy? Papa had one out. Timmy stepped back, stepped down. He said that. Um, I, I don't think he was. He said, "If don't quote me, but uh, paraphrasing, I think he said he wasn't ready to give. He wasn't ready to take on the job full time. Okay. He doesn't have that time, and I guess by going through that season, he yeah. seen he what it that, took. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which is cool. You know what yeah, I'm which is cool. About it. And I, mean, I respect that. Yeah, because I mean, his career, like we can easily say, well, yeah, you retired. You know what I'm saying, Joy? But I mean, somebody that's just a student of the game and love it, of course, he's gonna give it a try. And yeah. I mean, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? One for him. Yeah, shout uh, out to yeah. Becky though, man. Yeah. She's a retired uh, WNBA player. Did she play in yeah, WNBA yeah. also? Yeah, good stuff, man. Yeah, that is good stuff. That was that was good to see, man. And that, I think that's just gonna open doors. Wow, absolutely. You know, but yeah, we already got the the female refs now. We seen some in uh, NFL. I, I know it's some in the NBA. There's some. Uh, I don't think if there's some in. NFL I believe. I believe. Either I there was or still. I, I believe it's a few or maybe only one actual female on a coaching staff in the NFL too. I, it, it, I can't remember if it was. She's it, 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 a white lady, but. I yeah, think, oh, yeah, she, for the, yeah, did the thing, yeah. For, for the 49ers, I don't yeah. know if, if she's still on that Sarah, coaching staff. Sarah Thomas. Oh, I thought she might officials. No, no, she's actually yeah, on, like, yeah, on, on the coaching staff. Yeah. Coach staff. Oh, yeah. Coach staff. Oh, yeah, she had a commercial, the, the Microsoft commercial. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. was, yep, for the 49ers. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what y'all are talking about. But yeah, shout out to her, man. That's that's good stuff. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, Especially yeah. me, I am all, all girl. You know, all, that's all I got is girls, so. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big cheerleader for girls, pal. <laughs> with your neck. Um <clears throat> you, <laughs> you making me laugh. How do you wanna mention this? I know it just came across the wire earlier. We seen some vandalism to uh Mitch McConnell and also Nancy Pelosi's residences. Oh yeah. In regards to the um <laughs> what, what you call it? The, the stimmy package. You call it stimmy, I've been calling it stimmy. I don't know why, bro. <laughs> Probably because I forgot to add an M. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's just me and I, uh, our gang. I mean, I don't condone any violence or vandalism, but what the fuck you expect? Yeah. yeah. No, you play around with these people? Hey, how, how, play around how, with us? You. The president, yeah, Big T voted on it. Uh, hey, Big, Big I, T signed the six. He really, hey, he really, hey, Big he, T set him up. Yeah, Big T was pushing for that. T- that he's a, nah, this measly. Hey, give, give, him, give him some more. He, he's right. the one, I think he's the original one that put out that two. But y'all don't think that's a setup. That's yeah. a setup. That, that, that's, the, that's the reason they did. That's a setup. That's I the talk, reason that Big Mitch no. It's but, because yeah. they had all of them. And, and they like this. So you know. Yeah. That's why I told Tom. Big T knew what was happening when he finally pushed it through. Yeah. That's what took so long with the uh, with the last stimulus package. Because they had all that old backdoor stuff they was trying to slide on up in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, they go back to, to Tom, how people can find where the hell you stay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that's how quick they was able to find his crib. Yeah. yeah. So what, hey. what, what exactly happened? Because I see y'all saying something. Oh, they, the they said, where's spray, my money? Spray painted and vandalized his yeah. crib. I don't know if, to, to the extent, but I made sure I did the research. I'm like, okay, shit. People, they just not starting to report it. I'm sitting like, well, I said, no matter what my beliefs is and what other people I might agree with, I don't want to condone and just violence and just, but hey, I'm just looking at it like, that's something. Hey, I should do it. Hey, that's right. that's what you brought on yourself. I mean, I don't I don't know the details as far as why you wanted to deny this. Mm. Right? How is this going? How is it helping the country by you yeah. denying? Where's, where's, where's my money? Yeah. Where's my <laughs> money? Somebody spray painted. Where's my money? And you know what I'm saying? So oh, hey, God. hey, that but hey. <laughs> That. Oh, girl, better watch out too. What's her name? Well, bro? Nancy Pelosi, her house is vandalized. Oh, yeah, too. you did say that. Yeah, yeah, her house. But the funny thing about it is, I don't have nothing to do with this. I know it sounds like I'm an advocate. <laughs> of this. I ain't got nothing to do with the camera. But, but Nancy I is. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's what I was looking at. <laughs> Nancy is actually a Democrat, but I. She, but that's just weird that they would go and. Mm. I, I, I honestly get it why they would do Mitch, I, but Nancy. 
I, I don't understand. I'm not taking sides of either one, but I'm just saying, like, she wasn't the one that, that had nothing to really. So, yeah, so the president, he signed the, the 600 stemmy. She probably was fucking, dude. And they put, he pushed for the 10,000. The, the Senate is all. Oh, no, the House said, yeah, go ahead and give him 2,000. Mitch McConnell said, nah. Nah. Bro, hey. you don't do that around, especially around the holidays. Man, you got sensitive yeah. people. People thinking that they're too bad. Oh, we're going to say it's too bad? The fact that they put it out there, it just tells me everything. Sometimes information is released for a reason. Hey, but, but, hey bro, but you, you know, know when they say two bands, I'm standing in my head, yeah, that's 600. I ain't finna get my shit right. worked up. I, I, I got a little excited, bro. I like, yeah, I get, you know, this extra Christmas gift. Well, I see. And, 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 and that's I, why I think that you... I forgot to meet your Dwayne Hassel at the, at the no, strip club. No, I, that's why I think you got something to do with this. Because you've been double bubble from the powers... <laughs> To the stimmy, I, I, I look like your hand right, bro. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, okay. you trying try to chop me up in something before? You say it's your hand right, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's, how you, that's how you write your W's, bro. <laughs> yeah, that is your W. I'm mixed right, door. I'm I'm, 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 I'm mixed lexic, so I write them upside down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but no, but but just I I don't let you go, bro. But it's all seriousness, like rather. Whatever, but something like this is, I mean, at the end of the day, unacceptable. Like, the thing about it, I'm pretty sure he got kids, whatever. Yeah. And anybody that's going to walk on somebody, bro, you. Yeah, but. Put yourself at risk. Yeah. Because it brings not, back so, to so, that, so, that, so, that, so, that so, situation with right. moms, so, you know? so, 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 what would have yeah, happened if, if he, he would have came out and, and start firing just because you on, on their property damaging it? Yep. Then yeah. it would have been really looked bad for dude, yeah. but you on my property, so. Yeah, we can talk about it, but yeah, when it yeah. comes to that and you being on somebody's property and you damaging it, like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah I was supposed to say, you gotta remember, we're in a pandemic. This zombie land right now, man. Yeah. So you get close to the crib. Ain't no lie, ain't no lie, I'm gonna walk dead. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't lying. Blow, punk ass. <laughs> well, yeah, I no. guess we can go on and transition, man, into the Music Mondays as we do. Um,. Music Monday. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> music Monday, man. Segment we do every week, man. Just putting out all the music. Money. And now we are doing it collectively. So no longer are we doing three different artists. We're doing one artist, a whole segment, and we'll give our opinions on that artist accordingly. Whether we agree, disagree, whatever. But it is our opinion, and we are putting you up on what we think is hot. And sometimes just knowledge, you know, like uh, well, last week we did uh, Rick Ross and it was really not a debate. We all yeah. felt we all felt the same about Ross and we just talked about his contributions. I, I which, this was going to be different. I don't know why. We're going to see though. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So with that being said, man, um, oh, there's the cute. introduction. So that's cute. let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, nice, man. <laughs> we get into it, man. And this week's... Um, <laughs> Music Monday artist, man. I thought with the with the great great help and the contribution from JP came up with a damn good um, artist for us this week. That is Drake. And normally we we wouldn't <laughs> we wouldn't focus on an artist this this big because it's almost like what can you say that yeah, hasn't been said? It's yeah. like the cheat code. Mm -hmm. We always go with what we're really listening to at that moment or <clears throat> just something that we think, man, people, more people should be up on this individual. So yeah. this week with it being the end of the year, new year, and we just new figured decade. we would go, yeah, into this new, uh, this new year and this new decade with talking about the contribution of Drake, which of course I'm sure plenty of people have done, but... We put our spin on it. We give it our thing. Our thing is always different, you know. We got that thing, that that like that twisted oh. T. <laughs> that, that, that thing. <laughs> we, we got that twisted T perspective. So <laughs> that's his uh, joke. If you ain't been on the internet, that ain't inside. Yeah, that's yeah, outside. Yeah, that's definitely all over the internet. So if you Smart don't know dumb. that, one, shame on you. Duh. But <laughs> yeah, we we want to nominate Drake this weekend. He said it's gonna be different, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you lead it off, and let's go. I look forward to anything that the dude drops, even with the she took a whole, I took a half <laughs> situation. But I'm just going back to the first time that I actually listened I ain't to. Leave that alone. 
<laughs> nah, we, we, nah, he ain't, he ain't get no pass. That's, no. Is that worse than Molly in her drink? She ain't even know it. <laughs> yeah. No. no, 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 no. No, it's not. I was about to no, say, no, no, no. that's yeah. that wrong. It's definitely wrong. not. <laughs> definitely not worse. She I'm took sorry. it knowingly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what year it was, man. I know. Uh, Shout out to my little nephew, Taiwan, just turned 30. I remember he was going on his prom, man. He put the Drake on. That was like the first time I had heard it. Like, really felt it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was beating off, but. What'd you do when you felt it? Hmm? What'd you do when you felt it? Man, it's just a sugar little tail. Just a little bit. A little bit. Gave a little. Yeah, you wait till you dropped them off, dude. You really got it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they was, they, they, they was in big limo. Big sounds, everything. <laughs> But yeah, and, uh, just, just thinking about him, man, his whole career, but loving to listen to the cat, man. He, you know, goes right up, no goes right up. He's definitely a hell of an entertainer as far as the rap, the rap game. He changed the rap game to me, in my perspective. And just looking at what he did in 2020, I think he was like the first one with all this COVID stuff they did, uh, to, to drop a video. With that, uh, was it Tussie Slide or what, what was that? Yeah. Yeah. Tussie Slide. Which, according to them, was just like a little throwaway and just yeah. Like I mean, but <laughs> it, bro, 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 one wasn't going on right bro. then in that, in that pan, in, with the that pandemic, bro. Was, yeah. How yeah. great. Because so that he, was a when, throwaway. Yeah, so he did that, everybody he was didn't on expect it. that to blow up. Bro, it, it, he didn't, but he did. Because it wasn't nothing out there. It, it was, it was no, bro, t- but, tumbleweeds flying around everywhere. Yeah, and he, he already had a project set. That song just didn't make it on that project, yeah. so he just threw it out there. Yeah, I, I got what you said yeah. as far as that. But yeah, but what I'm saying is, with nothing being out there, you, you could have put anything out there and it would have blew up. But yeah, that's, that's my hats off to him as, as far as that, man. He's... That damn good. Yes. Yeah. yeah, at some point. <laughs> I, I just think that at some point it 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 becomes bigger than music to mm-hmm. me. And I think Drake has surpassed the point of music he's crossed over, so he is now a pop star. And when you become a pop star, you know, of course pop star is short for popular. And he's popular on all sides now. And that's what, you know, it means when you cross over. So you're not only popular to one one race or one base or one group or, you know, this cult fan base. You know, you you he is he's a household name. And so like like you said, <clears throat> you look forward to what's coming out. And only certain people can can have a hit throwaway track. You know what yeah, I mean? It's only yeah. certain artists. We could probably name like 10. You know what I mean? Just right off the top of our head that can have a throwaway hit. You know, I don't really need this. They ain't make the album, but just put it out there anyway. You know, check the temperature. And so... <laughs> sorry, sorry, y'all, for the people who know yeah. that's not no, here. But you gotta put that. You gotta put that. Well, in, that streaming. You know, put that clip there, right? <laughs> we, right there. This Drake is rapping as he's young, man. It's just funny, <laughs> funny visual. But yeah, to get back to what I was saying, yeah, just to see him get to that status, man. Especially after coming. Normally, you don't see this when an artist comes up underneath another legend and star and icon yes. under Lil Wayne yes. you know so you you don't normally see them surpass the mentor you you never do and it's normally and that's for you know different reasons because a lot of times the mentor doesn't allow it in my opinion yeah, yeah. you know oh, yeah, 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 you know, definitely right about so, that yep yeah so to see him surpass and Lil Wayne welcome that with open arms and and keeps helping to push him you know and if I have to just without I don't want to drag this on I'm trying to remember here off the top of my head but the album that really I, I listened to Drake my nephew shout out Daniel man was the original originally the first one who told me about this new dude coming up man yes. you know he you nephew know, he's, putting us on bro yeah, just, you know you gotta listen to him man he you know he coming up man he gonna be nice and I listened you know and I heard him on a couple of things but the album that really grabbed me was Nothing Was The Same in mm-hmm. 2013 mm-hmm. And I, I, I listened to, you know, his other stuff and I liked it, but the one that really just grabbed me and then to hear him on the collaborations with Young Money, mm. and he always stood out to me. Are they still you together, know? Young Money? Yeah. The original Young Money, you know, the, the, the big three. Okay. 
That was a hell of a big no. three, dog. Yeah, but, is, yeah, I'm a, yeah. yeah. So that was a hell you know, of a fucking just, big three, man. Just some of the stuff I really wish we could. Uh, we didn't have all these copyrights and stipulations. We could hit yeah. a few snippets, but either way, you know, just um, Tuscan Leather, Furthest Thing. You know, just started from the bottom. Those songs is just like, man, it was just like this dude here, man. Yeah, hey, this dude is next. And like Jay said, I, I think he, or I think you said he changed the game. He did change the game, but I think Drake made a lot of things comfortable that were uncomfortable before he came in. It was so much fighting about singing, mm-hmm. rapper singing. And so he did it with no shame. And he was like, yeah, that's me on the track. I remember the first song, the best I ever had. Yeah. yeah. And that's that, me that, singing, that, by the way. That, that, was, that, that was the one. That yeah, was the one on the top of yeah, me on. Yeah, he said that. And, you know, it's like, this cat can, can do it. He can go both ways. And when you can hold your own on both rims, like, of course, I don't look at Drake as... He's not music soul child, but he can definitely hold his own, you know, yeah, you know. holding a, you know, holding a note, you know, and, and making the song sound sound good. So, just Drake, man, shout out to him, man, for holding it down for as long as he has. This is what a decade of, of Drake just dominating everything as far as music, man, and just you know, jumping into the features. And I know a lot of people got some negative things to say, culture vulture, and all this stuff, and stealing people's sounds. We're not here for that today, man. We're here for positivity today on this new episode. And, man, I I think I said enough. And, JP, I'll let you say your piece, man. Close us out with this one. Yeah. Gonna, gonna trick pony right here. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, yeah, just, I just thought it was the perfect timing uh, to bring this cat up. Um, I believe, I don't even think it's arguably he has dominated this last decade. Um, and rightfully so, like I said, almost like a torch that's been passed from somebody that brought you up from Wayne, because we can say Wayne has dominated right before him, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, just overall, uh, a celebration of success. I mean, we've seen more ups and downs for him, some of the downs. Just, I mean, and, and, and it it comes with who you are, you know what I'm saying, from you knowing the, the, the few beefs that he had and so it just didn't really go his way, but you no, know, just overall, just success that I said that he had in transitioning to being that pop star. And uh, really, when you become that, uh, when you actually get that label as that pop star, it's the, the stardom for you goes up. You know, you got more people looking at you, people from other countries looking at you, you know, just, you know, you're just, just more than where you're from. And then just being somebody from Canada, and pretty much being the man there, and then coming, you know what I'm saying? Then actually just dominating the music here, you know, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Like, man, I, I just, like I said, look at his, at his success, and as he continue to grow, man, this, I just, just look at it, and I don't even call it a flex, whatever, but this dude got three, three, he has three mansions. All of them was which was at least over $10 million. We got one in um, in uh, Toronto, and he got two in California, bro. Shout out to Toronto, big yeah. Team. I mean, yeah, he he must have <laughs> make sure team. he he, 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 he represents Toronto. I mean, it's just I mean, it's just man, just how much like how much more can you just say about the cat like the, 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 the dude has dominated and still has been dominating. Going back to like I was telling you with that track that he put out. I said that was just some, you know what I'm saying? Just he he has so many songs that he worked on. That was just like something to throw away. Like that was so just pretty much to put it out. Of course he ain't gonna put it out if you don't think it's you nothing. Know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But just to come out with that, and then it ended up blowing up. And then like I said, just been coming out with your little EPs this year, and you know what I'm saying? Then now you got something in the worst coming out. Uh, and I don't know. I think it's the beginning of next year. You know this, what I'm saying? This year, huh? This year, you mean? Well, yeah, this year. Yeah. Come on, man. I uh, know. I'm just saying. You, you know when we in school <laughs> right. and you write 2020, it's going to take you about a month. Good, to, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, keep, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be on that shit for the next six months. Yeah. Right. Like, especially, especially right now. Everything is 2020. But yeah, and like I said, uh, the album that you pointed out was one of my favorites. If I could point out one that was uh, pretty dope to me is if you're reading this, it's too late. Oh, my that was That was a, that was a, 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 another one of my favorites, my favorite. man. Um like bro, it's crazy because I mean it's it's maybe maybe a few albums you could say that it's like yeah it, it was decent but but for the most part m- most of his albums has been pretty damn good and man it's just I mean I one of the things I took I mean I know it's only a few 
Well, because I mean, you because you, you you consider him a, a pop star, a, a, a rap artist. It's only it's only few rap artists that can actually have you sitting there harmonizing to their songs and. You know what I'm saying? You actually damn there. You know what I'm saying? I, I can go back to like a bone thugs and harmony when man, 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 this dude can say that. You can't say that though, bro. Well, excuse me. You harmonize to every song. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, bro, just, just, just all in all, just the way yeah. I said in, in the way, yeah, she has changed the game and yeah. and, and his sound is very unique over this last decade, most definitely. Um, Man, it's just it's just great, and I tip I tip my hat I tip my hat out to him. One of his most re- re- recent uh, successes, and and something that's gonna make him blow up even more is he he got a his own brand with Nike now. Oh yeah, you know which that that was that was that was that was that was, that was that's it. pretty big to me. I ain't gonna get into it. It's a little messy. Or well, as far nah, as because I was about to say originally it was Adidas, but we we know the story. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, you no know, contracts move, nah. dying move. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, but that was a well, specific. Yeah, reason. you know what I'm saying. Well, I don't know about <laughs> right. that, but yeah, just I mean, just, like I said, just hearing that and even having your own signature shoes with with Jordan, yeah, like m- 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 multiple shoes. <laughs> you never hoped. You know, I mean, yeah, you know, being able to without question going to like he he just this this, this dude moves. He he, he he just moves like he's the damn brand brand and, and, and ambassador for the United States, Canada, wherever wherever he goes. Like he, like and man, that just showed the the stardom he has, yeah. and just where he's at today in life, and where he's continued to grow. So it most definitely just a shout out to him and his success, and more to come. I mean, hey. Stuff, man. Good call on that too, bro. That cat is dope, bro. Yeah. Good call. I can't that, wait man. for him and him and Future, dog. They put mm. when they put their shit out, man. Heck yeah, yeah. Man. bro. That's a good collaboration. Hey, most of and people say whatever they want to say about Future, and but bro, when him and Drake do something together, I don't think it has flopped. It has flopped yet. These cats mm. came out with mixtapes together. Mm. You know how hard it is to come out with a mixtape with just you and another artist. It's not that. It's not that easy to do. Yeah. You know, so. well, shout out to Drake, man, who is our featured artist this this week for um, Music Monday, yes, sir. and just paying tribute and paying homage to that brother. Thanks for his contribution to the culture uh, and what he's done for the music. Yep, and continued success, man. We wish that to you. Happy New Year to you and yours. Drake. Man, that's a social media name too, man. What is it, Champagne Poppy? <laughs> that tickles me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> So you try to be creative and do Daddy Yankee that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> My drink was going Daddy down Unky. when I said Daddy Hunky. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy Hunky Daddy. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh, hey. oh man, that unsuspected laugh is always the one that gives me like I'm not expecting to laugh. Oh man, the transition over to TV Tuesday, man. TV Tuesday. TV Tuesday. TV Tuesday. Oh yeah. Oh. I was about to eat Hey. TV Tuesday, man. Y'all know by now what it is, man. Let's get into it. Um our nomination. This week for TV Tuesday is a show that has, what well, I'm sorry, a movie that has drawn a lot of attention. It was and, a blockbuster and, of yeah, the year, yeah. ended out the and year. Which I really do like the way that they did this. This is uh, Wonder Woman 1984. And I like the way they rolled this out. This rollout was cool as far as it being in the movie theaters and also dropping on HBO Max. So, you know, you can get your, hey, you can get they, your views. HBO Max got that plug. That, hey, HBO Max is doing it. This hell got a movie but, coming out um, at the end of this month. It's doing the same shit. That's dope. But you know, coming out there <laughs> and then coming out at, in the theaters and coming out at home, so people yeah. have an option. And you know, so they get money both ways. Yeah, that's a, that's a good deal it's, too. Real, real quick, man. Uh, Christmas Day is a big, big, huge movie theater day. I mm-hmm. didn't even know that. I would never think about going to the movie theaters on Christmas, but apparently a lot of people do. So Only after, yeah, yeah I've, I've done it after. Yeah, wow. That's what's up. But yeah, we we nominate that movie this week, and we want to give y'all a quick review on what we thought of it. Since normally we do things that has been out or, you know, we've been watching for a while, this is probably the first where, besides Marauders last week, that mm-hmm. we all watched at the same time, you know, during that week. Mm-hmm. I don't 
And just shout out on the Marauders too. Who, who called that movie out? Bam, JP again. <laughs> yeah, he's shooting five for five. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep feeding him. But uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm Big Baby Davis over there. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> don't escalate <laughs> with the uh, rest in peace. Yeah, 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 I'll just yeah. say that. Good call, man. Right? With the Wonder Woman um, movie. We're going to give some reviews here real quick. And I, I am going to be... Can we get reviews? Do we talk I, about I, the whole I, thing? We can, Yeah, we can. Eh? All right, let's do it. I, fuck it. It's a spoiler here's, here's, alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. If you ain't seen it, you're going to probably hear some things that are going to go on in the movie. We're not going to tell it all because we never do. We like to leave something for the people. But we will give you some details that, you know, beware. You know, if you don't want to hear anything about it, click off right here and then click to the next segment. <laughs> Because we got smart dummies coming up. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, man, I'm I'm a I'm a pass it to, to JP, you know, All to right. start this off. Well, your review, you know, and I want something I want to do if y'all don't mind. Yeah, Let, let's let's give it a, a star rating out of five. Okay, right. you know, before I, think I gave it the last before we one. go, yeah, you did, and that's what made me think about it. Like I think we all should. So do it before I, I talk about it. Yeah, and then you, we can give our star, or or you can do it after. It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay, so yeah, let me just uh, first by saying I'm a prime example of not letting pretty much. You know how people go and watch some, they get their opinion on it, and they. Cause that that's what I was doing. When people get their opinion on a movie, I was like, bro, it, it I I drug it on to the point where it took me forever to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. And I liked the first Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People had they they mixed feelings about it as far as not enough action, no more love scenes in it, bro. I'm gonna just try to make this as quick as I, I can. I actually sat down and watched it. Two and a half hour movie. Mm -hmm. Um my, my, I mean, it's my wife, Diana Prince. She got my last name. But, yeah, bro, just, <laughs> you know, just from the first clip, you know what I'm saying, going back to when, like, when she, when, when she was a girl and she did a little obstacle thing and was beating out everybody but yeah. tried to go do the little shortcut and, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, just going, going from there and then just going to afterwards, because uh, I, I think it, it, it fast-forwarded to, was it in 1984? Mm-hmm. And then this was after she had l l lost her boyfriend, whatever. The, uh, the pilot, bro, just, just me getting into it. It was, it, it was, it was pretty interesting. You know what I'm saying? When they um, once that 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 stone had got in introduced into the movie, and then with old girl, and then just, bro, just I really got into it, and I wasn't even looking for the action at that point. Cause mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, this is, you know what I'm saying? This is getting kind of interesting, and. Bro, I think like the main thing that that that, that stood out to me was when um, the dude and somehow in the inhale uh, get the, inhaling the stone into his body to the point where he was able to get people to say what they wish for. He became, and, he became a stone. Yeah, he yeah. he he, he, be, he became that stone, and how it went off from there, and, and it's just something like I can sit there and relate to myself with the. A coworker, um, the 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 new girl, how nobody never paid attention to her. You know what I'm saying? She was always just an outcast to the point where this guy presented to her, and okay, I want to be like Diana. Like I see how she like if, if I put myself in that shoes, I'd have probably did the same thing. I'd have, and I I noticed that close to the end when they was fighting and shit, and she then wish to be this immortal. I don't know if she was a cat lady or whatever she was, yeah. but bro, it it. Battle cat. Yeah, it 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 it, it, it really, bro. This, 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 this movie really had just, it it drew my attention in so many different ways. Like, bro, I, I mean, it was just something that I I didn't expect for it to go. And like I said I I I liked the few action scenes that it had in it, but I enjoyed the other scenes. I enjoyed her being able to. To have her wish to reconnect with her boyfriend for whatever time it was, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For her to even go from there, and mm -hmm. man, that suit, that gold suit that she put on was so monumental to her, bro. Like it just had so many, and I can see why it was two and a half hours long because to tell that story, it it would have took that long. So I just, I, I just, I, I, I'm gonna stop it there because I, I I I know I touched on on, on a, a lot of points. On this movie, but I mean, just overall, 
me going into it, bro, I'm telling you, I, I honestly, I tell you, I, I, I was, I was a little tired, but I fell asleep on it first. I woke back up, mm -hmm. turned it back on, I watched it, bro, and I mean, I honestly, I, I, I would give it four out of five stars, bro. Damn. Me, 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 me person. You said four out of five. Yeah, four out of five stars. I, I, that's what I give it, and I'm. So I, I can actually go more in on it, but then I guess it'll defeat the whole purpose yeah, of all of Yeah, I feel you saving us a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, save us a little juice. I feel you. <laughs> Get a little squeeze. You want, you want me to you want me to hit it? Good. You can sing. Because I, I am I am about to backtrack completely <laughs> on what I said originally. Okay. And I just want to start this out by giving an explanation because I fell asleep originally <laughs> while watching it with the family. Mm-hmm. And so I, I felt cheated because I was some parts I know I missed because mm -hmm. I fell asleep. And, but I, I kind of judged it off of me dozing off. And I was like, it was boring. That's why I dozed off. It wasn't a lot of action. And, <laughs> that shit rubbed off on me. And, and yeah. And I said, but I also told you, I said, well, watch it for yourself, though, because mm -hmm. I know I missed some parts. And so I went back and I watched it. And I went to look for the parts that I missed. And I ended up watching the parts that I had already seen, which already is an indicator that it it catches your attention. Mm. There's something good about it. Anytime you that's that's replay value. Yeah, yeah that's you. Anytime you rewatch it yeah, without you fast forward or re-listening, yeah, that's replay value. So which is already a good sign. So I'm watching it and I'm like, man, I don't remember this part, <laughs> <laughs> man. And I'm like, everything I had in my head originally, I was like, no, I kind of went against it. And I'm looking, I'm like. This shit is well put together. Like I, I really thought it wasn't at first, and I think it's because I, I fell asleep and there were some boring parts. And of course, you have to get used to the nineteen eighty four scenery mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I was fine with that because it was like that in the first one. Yep. And so I was like, what? Well, and I and then I liked the you know the fact like he came back like you know elaborating off of what Jay said, and so she was able to you know have him, and, but she had to make a decision. Yeah, you know that, that was tough. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was a tough decision. You know, with you know. Because when she was losing power, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, she was, like, losing power as long as he was there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's like that that wish was running out. But it was just weird, you know, and then seeing my man who, you know, had had the power and just watching, like, that. What I, what I really liked about it is there were so many things that I was able to tie into everyday life now. You know, like, having to make that decision. Yeah. Like, everybody being so driven off of power and having that, you know, that, that one up. That I want to be this powerful. Mm -hmm. I want to be this powerful, which goes old girl, you know, the the friend, yeah. you know, and like you said, I okay. we we yeah, <laughs> pussy. We like you would have said the same thing, like, <laughs> <Big pussy. laughs> like, like you would have said the same thing, being in that situation. Like you said, mm -hmm. I would have too, you know, just like having nobody. Like she just felt like nobody looked there. She was like the nerd, so to speak, mm -hmm. you know, that we see in all the classic stories, and you know, just to start getting that notoriety and start getting that attention. Uh, you know, you keep wishing and that power is a drug. And so everybody who had that power wanted a little more, wanted a little more. And so I just really enjoyed this movie, like you said, from the start with with her. I, at first, I thought they had some unnecessary parts. But as I rewatched it, I was like, no, that was absolutely needed as, as a little girl. As oh, her being yeah. a little girl. Oh, yeah. And just that was a life lesson. Yeah. You know, to show. Because I think and the first movie they they, they she know, did, yeah they, they was so, younger yeah. and they was going through you know some things too mm -hmm. when they was on the horses and whatnot but yeah so I I appreciated that life lesson that they gave in the mm -hmm. beginning because she had found a way to get herself back in the race but old girl said uh uh no 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 that ain't the way you do it you know so it was a life lesson going into this and then seeing everything that she had to deal with and then the friend and her wanting power and her having to face her at the end. And like you said, going back to the gold suit, which, like you said, was monumental, was that was a staple, yeah. you know. So what was that? The the mother was that the, the mother? Whoever the she the original like, one that yeah, had the gold that's, suit. Yeah. That's the original that one. That sacrifice. Yeah. That was the original one woman from the series. Yeah, that had the gold suit that everybody. Yeah. Attacked. yeah. Okay. I thought it was. That, that's what that was at the end of the movie. I don't know if y'all watched it through the credits. Oh, girl, yeah. told him. Oh, I ain't even watched. I, I think I thought. Oh, yeah, and watch, as soon you, as I you ain't watched the movie, now, <laughs> as soon as I ended, bro, I, th I thought something had popped up. <laughs> but, I'm yeah. like, damn, I think I missed something. That's that's like a staple with Marvel and uh, mm -hmm. and yeah. DC, but bro. I'm I'm guilty because I didn't either. But either way, <laughs> um, I didn't I think that, say that. I that. think that his dude's son. Was a a, a a good point in that movie too. Yeah, it was a very key part. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the son. 
Yeah. Yeah. And so me closing out on it, not to go in too far into it. Second time around, man, I freaking love this movie. What was your, what was your I first, am about to. What was your first view? My my first, first reaction. Your first star rating. My first no, star so rating. I was you, about to say three, three and a half. Okay, that was first star. And then I watched it. I really watched it because I can't give credibility to the first review because I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. And so when I watched it again fully and just it had me wrapped up, I'm seriously like almost four and a half. I'm like I'm, I'm gonna say four and a quarter. And you did what? What you did four? Oh. I'm, I'm gonna say four and a quarter because I, I don't. I'm almost at four and a half, but I want to. I'm gonna say four and a quarter. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it four and a quarter stars, man. On on this movie, this Wonder Woman, 1984, and that was the second time around. Because at first I didn't feel that way, but What's up? that's that's strong. Stuff, you what you got, bro? Right, uh, I think we all in agreement. That, um, I heard a, a snore coming from you. You, you fell asleep. You fell asleep. Mm -hmm. I didn't fall asleep, but I was, well, I was watching it with the wife, and she did fall asleep. So I did a little, little corn to wipe of the mouth there. <laughs> but, so we all in agreement as far as that. But I'm gonna do something a little differently. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my star rating, but there ain't gonna be no star rating. It's just gonna be a rating, <laughs> and that rating is gonna be booty ass, <laughs> bro. You ain't that, like it? Nah. Not at all. It was, it was as bad as the first one to me. Wow. I didn't like the first. You like the first one? one. I, didn't like, I didn't like the first one. I didn't like. Oh, the, I didn't like wow. this. One. If they like y'all said, y'all y'all parts that y'all were questioning on, that's actually the part I like. If they stayed in Amazonia land at the beginning of the movie, where, where they was all Amazons, that's the part of the movie that I love. But outside of that, it was I was like it was like blah. I mean, they had some good points. I seen what the writers was trying to do. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, dude taking the, taking the wish stone and making you know making making it himself, and then every time somebody make a you know he takes somebody wish, it, mm -hmm. it takes something from him. They they kept mentioning the story. That's the, that's what it reminded me of the monkey paw. That, that's something y'all should check out too. But uh, one interesting fact that I that I did like about the movie was when his son started to pray instead of making a wish. He was like, no, 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 don't do that. Like, don't pray. And that kind of drew me back like, away, okay, yeah. Yeah, let me go ahead and think about this, yeah? So there's a lot of folks going back from mm -hmm. with their original religion and their true things, of you know, their true culture, and they getting tempted by outside stuff, especially with the internet and YouTube right now. Right, right. So that, that, draw, that drew an interesting point to me. That, yeah. that is just the point. That's what I was saying, too. I, I could relate a lot of stuff to, yeah. to now I was bringing, yeah. And then again, uh, going back to 1984, just just the way they was doing everything with the clothes, and uh, I don't know if y'all seen the Bartles and James. Yeah. Now, I, I got a kick out of that. Yeah, when my man was getting dressed. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> fanny yeah, pack. That, that, that was hilarious too. Yeah, fanny pack. I was like, man, get rid of that fanny pack. But I was oh yeah, like, it, it, yeah, they had little cool. fun moments, but yeah, overall, as far as the movie, man, it's. I wish they did a whole lot more in Amazonia. It would have been a whole lot better movie to me. So yeah, so just hearing that, so you was you are you I said just going off of the first Wonder Woman how because even after that you know I think that first Wonder Woman man it took me like two three four times just to get through the movie. Mm. You're telling me the first time never you know but I, I want to recant something. There is something that you just made me think about that I said during the movie and I forgot as we talked about it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna take that quarter away. You know I'm gonna take that quarter away because I did not think. That these, well, there was some parts and some people I didn't think did a great job of acting. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, my man with the wishes wasn't the best. Actor. I actually like him as an actor though. He was bro, but yeah. that, but that, that's how he always is. That, yeah, yeah. But see, I did. But see, I think he did a damn good job. But that's exactly what I don't want to do. I don't want to give you the benefit of the doubt because you acted the same way in another movie. I ain't saying that. I, I'm saying he dead bro. No, that's what Jay He was said. like, get, get, let's get these wishes, okay? I know you want something. What you want? Yeah, get I mean, yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah, finna take this from. He wasn't horrible. Right. That's what I'm not, not, I don't think saying, he did a hell of a good job. Yeah, I'm not he, saying he did he, good. He but had to rush that, because of his health. That, 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 that's that, how he that got. Was, yeah, that was yeah, that was the point that he was making. And see, I'm not even saying that. I'm I'm not saying he was horrible. I'm just, I just didn't think a lot. Even even Wonder Woman in this, there were some parts where I was just like, yeah, see what's up. And that was that was that was. I think that's what told me off of because she going back to do. Back in, they need to get to get back, get in the fucking present, get the fuck out of the fucking past. But I, that, I think that's that, what. It but is. this movie, to I me, think that's what the major thing. But is. that's what I saw in this movie. If you go, if you go stay in the past, 
Amazonia land is the past. No, but everything about this movie told me that there's going to be another one leading up to the present. They, they everything. It's, it's did take, you get that too? It's taking too long to get that over for it, me. It for might me. be, but I, I yeah, it might be. But I, I really thought overall, like like I said, second time around, I watched it. I was like, okay, this is better than I thought. I thought it was at first. I, I like, said, like, like what dude, you said. A dude died in the first one. Leave his ass in the first one. I know he's a major actor. Hey, we Don't get, fucking kill him off there. See, but that, or, that or, is a major or, key. Or do, do, yeah. the, yeah. or do, do the major trick. Have him die, but don't no. actually show him dead. Dude, dude, if you don't dude, show him dead, you can bring him back. Dude is a major key just because of how but look how she they was did brought it. up. How they was brought up, they wasn't supposed to fall in love. They wasn't supposed to do none of that. So by her end up falling in love with dude, so that was a major part of her life. So coming into this movie, how with this wish stone and all this, of course, that's going to be one of the things that she wished to have back because that was something that wasn't supposed to happen for her, but did happen. And so, look how they did it too. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 what I'm saying. Because those, I, was, those, I understand what yeah. you're saying, but it was oh, booty ass. Because I, I, I see. Because I, I can really go into it by well, judge on the first one. Well, how the heck do y'all what do y'all call it? Be fruitful and multiply and bring more of these women <laughs> in if y'all don't do nothing with other <laughs> other races. I mean, with yeah. other men. Yeah, but the way that they did it, I thought was good because it wasn't like he just popped up. And you're right. I, I agree with you. Yeah. But he didn't just pop up. It was a sacrifice that had to be made. You know, he came back in the form of somebody else. Yep. And the reason why I didn't, I don't never look down on that because that's what every movie is doing now. Yeah. I, I'm knocking Marvel right now because everything keeps going back in time and keeps going. So they try to go back in time to make it. But they're still in the present. I don't want to. Yeah, but they go back in time. But she ain't been in the present. Yeah. It, but see, that's even better the because she has been in the present. They can build they been, up. They been, they been booty ass. I don't think so. Well, fucking, uh, I love Batman the movie. I like the first Wonder Woman. Oh, you talking about the? Uh, they have uh, movies. I'm talking about the movies that she's been in as far as Wonder Woman the, in, the, uh, in the present. What is it? Not our most caught it. Just, Justice League. The Justice League. You didn't like that? I thought it was yeah, decent. It was cool. It was cool. I didn't think it was great. I, I, I thought I, it was I, decent. I love Man of Steel. Y'all. She was the best character in Justice League. I'm just saying, more that. That whole Batman thing is, is gone. And you was Batman. I don't know. I'm yeah. not a big Batman fan. But she was she was the movie to me in Justice League. Yeah, I agree with you. Like she held that movie that's, down. That's because she, she was in the present. Hey, shout out to Wonder Woman, too. Wonder Woman, fine. But... Yeah. Oh, that's my baby from uh, but, um, Fast and Furious. Yeah, hey, she, yeah hey, it's, it's, I got inside uh, jokes for y'all. That's the reason Han did what he did, man. <laughs> hey. And I heard he coming back. Yeah, I got he coming back in 2021, baby. He's coming uh, back. Hey, Han ain't dead, baby. Hey. Everybody who died hey, in 2020, did. man. Everybody coming back in 2021. Hey, everybody coming hey, back. Hey, they ain't going to show a scene from Han walking away from that car. <laughs> 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 I got an inside joke for y'all today. <laughs> Ladies be free. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Okay, y'all know the little thin pants that the women wear, like very, very thin. Leggings? Yeah, leggings. No, 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 no. They're loose, very loose. I don't Lo even know loose the leggings. No, not leggings at all. Leggings are tight, they're like this, like really thin. I ain't seen that. Okay, let I, me. I, I, I have been out of the world. You know, I've been quarantined. Okay, here's pandemic. The, oh, you've seen it before the quarantine. <laughs> but let me tell you. Okay, there's really thin pants. I don't know the name. I'm gonna figure out the name of it at some point, and. They, <laughs> I Zay, call them. Zay. Let me tell you what I call them. I call them booty jigglers. Uh oh, because no matter who, I dream of genie type in. Who's, yes, okay, yes, those. So no matter who's wearing them, they make it jiggle. <laughs> they show the jiggle. Whatever you got on. I see these pants. I'm gonna show you something. But bro, either way, bro, they come on a nine volt. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I call them booty jigglers, right? Matter of fact, Wonder Woman had on some in the movie. She had the high waist mm -hmm. booty jigglers. Yeah. Right? You know what, man? But wait, hey, wait, 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 wait. When they got them, them, them <laughs> stretched out pinstripes with them, too, bro. I know yes. exactly what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You was not going to say her booty wasn't jiggling. But nothing was jiggling. Uh -oh. No, bro. <laughs> you must have forgot. Her ass played a big part in, in the uh, first one. In, in Fast and Furious. And, and, and also in Remember the she one. put on them bikinis and dude put his hand on her right there? <laughs> I know, but... She used her ass for that. So don't say she ain't got no booty. But... Nothing was jiggling in the booty jigglers. I just the <laughs> booty jigglers. <laughs> hey, you know, you know this episode watch. gonna be called Jay. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. y'all can go watch it for yourself. I, I swear to God, I did have no plans on mentioning this. This right. was an inside joke. But I just like she has better features on it than her. Absolutely, movie. hey, Wonder Woman is great. Yeah, I she is gorgeous, man. I get that. But I just wanted to tell y'all that. 
and oh. that, that that was just that was just something I wanted to mention. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off of this. <laughs> I'm gonna get off of this. That was just that was neither here nor there. I just feel like I needed to tell y'all, but I need to show you what these are. I know you know what I'm talking about. You gonna be like, oh. But anyway, what's her shout name? Out to so shout out to Gal. What is it? Gal Gadet? Prince. Gal Gadet. What's her name? Gal Gadet. Her real name. You call her? <laughs> oh, her real name. <laughs> Gal Gadot. That's what I said. Gal Gadot. <laughs> 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 Gadot. <laughs> Who you call her? <laughs> Gal. Say it again. Go book it French on me. Gal Gadot. <laughs> no, yeah, but say it again. Of course, her name is Diana Prince. So we're yeah, and we, hey, we ain't gonna take know. that away from you, bro. Yeah, Not at all, man. Yeah, that's my wife. Hey, real quick one, one funny moment in that movie when they was flying in the plane and she was like oh I forgot to tell you about the radar and my man was like radar she's like I'll explain to you later and he was like I think he said or I think she said they're gonna they could shoot us down or something like that and my man was <laughs> driving the plane and I was like this Typical man. He was like, shit, Diana. It <laughs> <laughs> sounded like something I said. <laughs> yeah, I remember Women that. Women always put us in the spot, ain't they? <laughs> I'll I tell ain't, you about them shooting us down later. I ain't know she could turn shit invisible. <laughs> yeah, the little yeah, outside. Like, she had a visible plane, bro. I forgot she had that. Yeah. Hey, but I was sitting there like, I said, watch one of them fireworks hit the plane. <laughs> and they come back. That's what I, that's what I was tripping on. Who the, who the fuck finna make a wish now? Right. <laughs> All right, man. We- <laughs> that was a great uh, Wonder Woman analysis. <laughs> Bro, you, you need, you need yep. a minute. <laughs> yep. Right. The, just the... The uh, smart dummy. He already in the pause. Oh, so we pause? Ooh, move. We need to go down. What is our girl? Our girl? Our girl? Our what? What's about the uh, tamale joint? No, no, no. The Mexican joint we're going to. Text-Mex, the Tex-Mex spot on 6. Oh, Aguayas. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. Ag- Aguilar Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Aguilar Wallace. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. All right, man. Let's, let's close this thing out with the Smart Dummy of the Week. Smart Dummy of the Week. <laughs> oh, uh, I, normally I hate to get this out, but I don't, get it. I don't hate to get this one. <laughs> we got a Mississippi woman. Mississippi woman by the name of Lindsay Stevens, 33, of Moselle, Mississippi, is accused of stabbing her husband <laughs> early, early Sunday after, <clears throat> excuse me, she had a dream that he was cheating. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me run that by y'all one more game. <laughs> <laughs> she stabbed him after having a dream that he was cheating. Didn't physically catch him, but had a dream that he was cheating. So, (laughs) this here, man, she was charged with domestic aggravated assault. Her bail was set at $10,000. He went into surgery immediately. I think they were... um, So... I'm, I'm sorry, sorry bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was the assault that she did on him? She, she shot, shot him? No, no. She... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, that's what I'm asking, bro. I'm sorry. He blacked out on him. No, she stabbed him. How many times? Six to seven. Oh, uh, Multiple times in the back. Um, they, they called it four to seven wounds, and he went into surgery. <laughs> four and, to seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't give her four to seven for every stab wound. But, um, he went into surgery Monday. He's expected to recover. But <laughs> I guess I I just want quick opinions, man. We I got a piece to it here. Yeah, okay, Bruh, Jay, yeah, we, give, give it to us, Jay. Bruh. Bruh. For one, oh, I don't. I, I kind of feel, feel it for it, but, but I don't. I don't. Mm. Have you have you have you had them dreams? Has it felt so real? Yeah, bro, and and like, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not giving her no sympathy for this because this is crazy. But I've woken up from a dream. I was like, damn, bro. I remember one time. I, I swear to God, I, I thought, who was it? I don't know if it was a porn star, bro. I, I thought I, I got her from the porn scene, bro. He was like, you was in it, bro. I woke up I'm like, damn, I got a car short, bro. I, I know, I'm not even talking it, like, bro. I be having some dreams that I wake up. I tell this home all the time. Yeah, you do. And bro, I wake up, I be sweating. 
So, so I mean, mean so it's, it's just crazy, crazy how, I mean, I don't know how other people are just seeing, okay, well, she had this dream that her dude cheating and then wake up and just automatically react like, bro, that's some scary shit. I'm not, I'm not shooting no bail for her. You know what I'm saying? She deserves to get whatever that comes that way, but when it comes to having some dreams that feel real, I feel that shit, bro. I've, 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 I've woken up and, bro, I'm telling you, I be having some, some off the wall dreams and I be like, bro. He killed me like three times. I did, I did, bro, for real. Damn. Bro, for real, I did. I wasn't gonna say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or, I got nine left. Don't say, what you gave him, a mushroom after work? <laughs> I got six left. <laughs> I don't know, but bro, it, it's, just, it's just amazing. I mean, I don't know if y'all... I, bro, I feel you. I was going to say subconscious. Mm-hmm. The subconscious is a motherfucker. You, like me. Prime example. I never talk about myself, but I'm going to talk about myself. My, subcon- my subconscious on... I have to basically keep it in check. Mm-hmm. The only time I don't have it in check is when I'm asleep. I have, I ain't gonna need to talk about dreams. We ain't gonna need to talk about the dreams. But I have been woke up, but I've not been really fully been woke. Mm-hmm. So my subconscious that I keep in check is not been, is not actually being kept in check because I'm not fully woke to keep my subconscious in check. Mm-hmm. And that's been a dangerous situation for the person that's woke me up. Mm. I mean, extremely dangerous. But talking about by the time that I woke up, it was blood on the dance floor, and I had to apologize. Like, okay, but Ooh. now it's your fault because you know better. So if you ever have a dream, I should not wake you up. Nah, don't fucking no. Oh, <laughs> so let me. So you said blood on the dance floor. So I'm assuming you didn't physically harm nobody, but you forgot that your wife was on her period. <laughs> Yeah, once again, you're a nasty, sir. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to get away from you saying, because you said, right, right. Okay, right. okay, what the fuck did you do? So I'm just like, well, maybe you got up and, okay, we, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, All I'm saying <laughs> is, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shoot her some bail for that, because I've been, yeah, and then. I ain't going to shoot no bail, but I, I understand. I, I'm shooting a bail, and then coming out of dreams. Okay, well, you. Coming out, coming out of dreams, then woke up out of dreams. Okay, that, that is real. This is where I got to disagree. When I come out in dream and I didn't I didn't woke up and had the same scratches on me that was in the dream. And so I'd be like, wait a minute. But then there's that point. Oh, there's like there's like ten seconds after you got I wake that, you up. You got that ghost on top of your scratch. Yeah. Yeah, it's that yeah. ten seconds you be like, man. That was a dream. You normally know by where you at, because I'm in the bed. Like the dream normally never happens in the bed. So when you wake up, you realize you have to look around like Okay, and then you back to reality. I can't shoot her bell because she went back to reality and said, I'm finna get this knife. Cause I know it. Hey. <laughs> she didn't sleep with a knife, bro. They could have been sleeping in the kitchen, man. <laughs> She's sleeping in the All kitchen. Right right how, how long it take to get to stay up four to seven times? How long it take? Yeah, that's four to seven, four four seven, seven seconds. seconds. Yeah. yeah. But, but that's plenty of time. No, no, no. Go get the knife. Unless you're sleeping in the bed with that knife, right. that knife stand there. You already crazy. You already crazy at that point. You never know. Hey, he better leave. Maybe they kept hearing that. Uh, what's up? What we call old girl? Okay. Wonder Woman, Big Cat. What you call it? Big Pussy. Big Pussy was out the knife. Don't go. 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 Don't and his whole camp a bad name. This is Dream Chasers going bad. Like, I don't want to hear. I can't shoot her no bell. She done Dream messed it up for me. Man. She done messed it up. I'll tell you what. Everybody. If who, y'all, if y'all in my area. The women that have women intuition and be right. Yeah. And this man probably never even cheated. No, he probably did. Oh, no, well, you. Next not in that. Not that day. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. no. In that dream, he did. Bro. You can't hold him to that. Yeah, I said I'm not. I'm not shooting no bill. I'm shooting all But uh, I understand bro. the dream, bro. I I think I told someone this, bro. I've 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 caught a cramp in my leg just because I was humping in my dream. <laughs> That's all you do a sex dream. Bro, no, no, no. Wait a minute. So that's all you do a sex dream. How do you die in this dream? No, oh, no. I walked no, in. No. See, I didn't want to bring up because, like, 
So I was like, I really had to cut myself like, well, it really wasn't me killing it was just, I kept getting accused of, of the different thing. I, yeah. I, I kept telling it to him, like, bro, for I'm like, bro, I'm sitting there and I'm waking up sweating because <laughs> I'm literally running from the police. Because, because, I, because, 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 because I either got accused of killing Tone. <laughs> That's a new friend of COVID, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, J. Kruger. <laughs> but no, like, like I said, bro, I've 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 humped in my dream and caught a trolley horse and woke myself up, like bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. bro, and bro, and I'm, I'm talking about I, I'm I'm ready too. I'm like I was damn near ready to. I'm like bro, but how? You woke up and that thing was rock. I was ready to bust. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's all I'm talking about. These dreams be so well, real, bro. bro. We, we talk bro, about Wonder Woman. I think we want to go back to Wonder Years. I think they used to call that a wet dream. <laughs> I guess that trotting horse stops it. <laughs> like, well, thank God for this crap. <laughs> Hey, and we gonna end that on this fucking note. My goodness. There, there is no conclusion on this one. We all over. Yeah. We all going a different type of way. Well, I think Jay agree with me. We ain't shooting that no nah, more. Yeah, Jay shooting us so. up. <laughs> Jay shooting that cream. <laughs> ain't no bill coming this way. Hey, See, I'm about to go put some money on their books. Put me on your jewelry. I, I ain't no, not guilty. See, I'm about to put some money on their books. Hey, go you better find watch it. You talking about leaving the bloodbath and shit. Love that. And then you say you be leaving. That's what, remember I said blood on the dance floor. Nah, blood on the dance floor. Remember you said <laughs> come on, blood come on, on the dance floor. Hey, you better not be our next smart dummy next week. Water, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you go fuck around too. You gonna get it on trains? Hey, thanks to everybody. Hey, cool. Us <laughs> thanks to everybody for supporting us, man. Thanks to the YouTube and the streaming. Thanks to everybody um, <laughs> that we rock with, that rock with us, that support the show, man, support the podcast. Ooh. Thank y'all, man. We out. We yes, ain't got sir, much man. more to say. Happy, Happy New Year, year everybody. See y'all man. next week. Love Let us be man. free. It's our first first podcast of the new year, yes, man. Ain't another year. <laughs>